Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. And I can still say that because it is technically still morning for me. I got up so early today and did so much with my day already. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hello, hello. Welcome on in. Good morning. Happy Sunday. All the good things. I'm already getting really hot. 75. What's it outside? 76. I'm gonna close my window. Hold on. Hold up. Ugh. 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 Okay, sorry. I have to go under my desk to uh, close my window. Sorry. Uh, JP! Thank you for the 14 month resub. Hi! Hello! Thank you! <clears throat> Hold on, we got a few more people that resub too. We have Recon. Thank you very much for the 32 month resub. Good old trusty, wusty tier one. Um, Pada, thank you very much for the 34 month resub. This is the day you show appreciation to the streamer, right? Merry birth, kite. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, <clears throat> your continued support. Emma! Hello! Hello! Long time no see. I just spent my morning with Emma and Jaden. We went to Starbucks to get my free birthday drink. I uh, honestly didn't even know what I wanted. I, we went through the drive-thru for the first time. I was driving and uh, that was my, it was my first time going through a drive-thru and I didn't know what I wanted and I felt really bad, but I was like, frick, it's, I, I gotta get something good. But I, I'm just like blanking, I don't know. Um, and then after that, we went to Krispy Kreme and I got a box of free donuts. I would have posted it on Snapchat, but Snapchat isn't allowing me share to, to share to Discord anymore. So it's kind of sad. I liked being able to share to Discord. But whatever. Yeah, I drove, I drove today. <laughs> hi Ace, hi Jeff. Hi, Starcore. Hi, Pada. Hi, Dan. Hi, Casey. Hi, Recon. Hi, Anti. Hi, JP. Hi, Tennis. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hi, Brandon. Um... Um... Hi, Synthetic Mommy. Hi, Big Barrel. Hi, Chase. I always feel like I say Chase or Ace twice because they sound the same and they both have a blue name. Hi, Chase. Hi, Ace. <laughs> Hi, Tumtillion. Let's see who is actually first today. We have Ace, Synthetic Mommy, Tennis, Chase, Starcourt, Emma, Recon, and Jeff. Was that the 10 of the day? Was that 10? I can't count. That was pretty good. You guys all remember. Good job. Good job! Hi, Wombat! <laughs> Wombat and Pada? They remembered? This is good? <laughs> You've been staring on it for like a week and then you didn't know what to get? Yeah. Well, I have a few things that I kind of like regularly rotate. Like when I go to Starbucks, but I didn't really want what I regularly get. I kind of wanted something strong but not sweet. But then when I asked that, like, first of all, I went to the drive-thru and I was like, I'm redeeming a birthday gift. Is there any restrictions on that? And she was like, nope, you can get anything you want, really. And I was like, oh, uh, because I was expecting like, oh, you can only get like a grande frappuccino or something. I don't know. Uh, so then I was just like, oh, well, I don't know what to get then. And she was like trying to help me with decisions. But I, I didn't know what I wanted. I really, that was like the first time that I felt so stupid in a drive -thru. There's a lot of pressure in a drive through too, if I can be honest. If I were to go in, I feel less pressure to order so quickly. But a drive through they're literally having to stand there at the speaker, not leaving. And then you have cars behind you. So I was like, ah! And then after I decided, the girl was like, anything else I can get for you? And then I was like, oh, fine. Do you guys want anything? Because Emma and Jaden were in the car with me and then they were both like, uh, and then that took more time. Emma ordered pretty quickly, but then Jaden was like, uh, mm, uh, uh, mm, uh. <laughs> so 
then that took extra time. Pape, thank you for the 49 a month resub. Almost, 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 almost the big five zero. Thank you, thank you. Ice blonde vanilla latte with almond milk. Not too sweet, but so good. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Where you have to scan your ticket before you can leave. About parking? This is why I don't drive. Yeah. It's it's a little scary. Yeah, Emma knew what she wanted pretty quickly. <laughs> Hi, T80. Thank you. <clears throat> Only the blandest, harshest, darkest small coffee. Yeah, well, I didn't. I didn't know. And I was kind of feeling like something stronger today, but then I was like, wait, this is Starbucks. I can't just get a black coffee and it's gonna be good. It's gonna taste like ashes if I get a black coffee. Hi, Dimitri. So I had to think about it. What are we doing today? I don't know yet, Starcourt. Thank you, Juan. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, JP. Hi, white people, sad. We're sad today. Thank you and thank you for the compliment. Why not just post it on Discord? Well, it's too much work to like take a picture of something and post it to my story and then take a picture of the same thing again and then post it to Discord, you know? I, I liked when Snapchat just had that feature where I could just upload it to my story and Discord at the same time. That was so nice. Thank you, Casey. Yo, fit check? Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you the dress. I posted it on Snapchat. <laughs> but I'll show you the dress. Oh, it's like really, it's really bright in here. It's also very long. <laughs> I, uh, I don't remember the, uh, <laughs> look like a princess. Thanks. Cool mic. Oh, was it focusing on the mic? I'm sorry. I'll move it out of the way. I'm sorry. Now is it focusing on me? <laughs> I like the dress, but it also kind of like screams old lady a little bit. It's like old lady, but I'm still young enough to not make it look old lady, but it kind of makes me look older because it's old lady. And then my short hair, because I, if you guys haven't noticed, I cut my hair. The pink isn't in it anymore. It's all healthy hair, but it's really short. It used to be like this long. So it's like short, healthy hair, but it makes me feel older. Shorter hair. Uh, makes me feel old. I don't know. Looks like fine china. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fine china. Maybe that's the that's the thing. Get extensions. Extensions are too expensive. I'm poor. <laughs> Sarkort, you're silly. But thank you. Thanks, Navy. Hello. Hi, Mikey. Take a picture on Snap. Save to camera roll. Post elsewhere. Yeah, but that's still a lot of work. I just want one button that does it all. That's so much easier. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks, Doom Bunny. <laughs> Sexy Mormon. <laughs> uh, I don't think Mormons would show their back. Midsummer-ish to me? Monka S. I always think of them. I mean, anytime I hear that word, Midsummer, I think of the movie and I think of fat naked people humping each other because that was in that movie. <laughs> Didn't like that movie at all. <laughs> Don't watch Midsummer. Moral of the story, do not. I repeat, do not watch Midsummer. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> this. Oh, oh. Thanks, Metal Gear. Appreciate it. <gasps> Hi, Klondike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't remember the last time I used Snapchat. Definitely before 2020. <gasps> I think Snapchat's so convenient. Well, it's also my main communication, like form of communication with Jeff because we can't like text because that would cost a lot of money. So we use Wi-Fi chat, which is Snapchat. 
It's one of the scary movies that's only scary because of how freaking weird it is. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't even marketed as a scary movie, was it? No, don't watch it. Would not recommend. It's not a good movie. <laughs> My dream. You and I have very different story morals. I did not get cake today. It is 11.36 in the morning, so I don't know if I'm feeling like cake yet. But I did get donuts. I got Krispy Kreme donuts for free. It's a Danish movie? I don't know. Oh, there's a Danish version of the movie. Doesn't like WhatsApp for some reason. Well, WhatsApp is just, I've never, that's like what, I don't know. Older people use. Snapchat's for young hip people. And I'm young and hip, okay? <laughs> Thanks, comic fan. Like 29 year olds? Yeah. 30 year olds use WhatsApp, okay? 30 plus use WhatsApp. <laughs> Recon! Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. <laughs> Cause some cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to feel old. Trust. I'm starting to feel old. <gasps> Thank you, Angel, for having. I appreciate it. Thank you. Everyone I know uses WhatsApp. Apparently you can create like cool stickers and stuff in WhatsApp. So it like intrigues me a little bit, but it's also, I don't know, Snapchat's just so much more convenient. I bet you with WhatsApp, it's like, Ace, thank you. <gasps> thank you for the 400 biddies. Thanks, I appreciate it. Super, hey, wait, where are you right now? You said you were traveling. Where is you? I'm sorry if you if you told me and I forgot. The Philippines. I actually think I did that sparks uh like I think you did say that before. What's the reason for it again? Regardless, I hope you have fun. And is the weather nice? Thank Twitch RPG. <laughs> Thanks, Twitch RPG. Family visit and vacay. I can't see. Sometimes I feel like my wiggle email should have been this. Happy Boppy. Happy Boppy? Happy Boppy. You're saying it wrong, bot. What the heck? Starcore, thank you. Thank you for the 15 doll hairs. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's 2 a.m. for me and you are live. It's 11.39 for me. It's normal time. Yeah. <laughs> it's California weather. So nice. California weather is nice and warm. I think. <sighs> Don't let them tell you that you're old. <laughs> I just, you know, yeah. I just... No, I, I'm not in California. I wish I were in California. Because California has really nice weather and cool beaches. But alas, I am not. I am in Boise, Idaho. Which is a very sad, <laughs> cold... area to live. It's not cold right now, but like, you know, it's cold in the winter and the winter drags on. Red! Thank you. Brian, thank you. <laughs> Idaho is PIS? I don't know about that. I think the people who like a quiet life like Idaho. I don't like a quiet life. <laughs> you have potatoes. Potatoes are pretty good, but you can get potatoes anywhere, you know? I don't prefer the cold, see? Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Cali is more expensive, but they also have better paying jobs. That's good. We want better paying jobs. I 
Adulting? Adulting, man. Texas right now is on fire. Then you just have your uh, storm, though. So at least it's not, like, dry and hot. I got another birthday message. From my grandma and grandpa on my dad's side. Aw. The last time I talked to them, I had my sprained ankle. So they said, we hope your ankle is healed and you are on the move again. <laughs> I'm gonna say thank you. Gonna type out a little thank you message. So I don't forget later. Because I always do that. I'll open something and then forget to respond. Yeah, I sprained my ankle uh, really, really badly a few months back. And I was out of work. Like, I wasn't allowed to walk on it. Um for four weeks i think it was so i was stuck at home it was really really rough it also made me very poor dragon hello they're using emojis they're already one step ahead of my grandma on my mom's side Why didn't we get more kit streams when you couldn't work? I streamed a little bit more, yeah, but it mostly was just very uncomfortable for me to sit at my desk, elevating my leg. But I did, I did stream a bit. Are they using the right emojis? They used the smile with the hearts around it and uh, the double hearts that I use all the time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better. Hope your ankle heals soon. Monka S. Hi, Christian. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks. Um... My ankle is indeed all healed. I don't know what else to say. They gave updates about their, uh, their church adventures. If you could have any superpower, which would you pick? Um, I would probably pick teleportation. I know that's very cliche and boring, but to just be able to teleport anywhere would be so easy. It would make my life so much easier. I could teleport to Europe whenever I wanted. I could, you know, get a job wherever and just teleport to work and not have to worry about driving. <laughs> but yeah. That's probably what I would pick. Hi, Devin! Hello, hello! into so many gold deposits <laughs> for auditing reasons yes yes indeed having lunch <gasps> have a good lunch i vote we open i know it's early but champagne is acceptable on your birthday when it's early in the day so i vote we open a bottle of champagne actually i don't know if it's is prosecco champagne i don't know if that's considered champagne but I wanted to drink some some champagne. I do still have the bubble gun. I do, I do. <laughs> Day drinking. No such thing is too early. Well, I think for special occasions it's okay, right? Okay, I have two options. Let me show you my two options. Actually, I have a rosé. That sounds nice, too. 
Luma. Thank you so much for the 42 months. I appreciate you. Thank you for the continued support. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we have this Prosecco that I got for Christmas. Yo, you want to focus? Prosecco? And from what I understand, Prosecco is just like a sweet bubbly champagne. Champagne to me is just like light crisp fruity bubbliness so prosecco from what i understand is like a sweeter richer bubbliness and then we have a rosé which is like pink champagne <laughs> oh this also says prosecco so apparently it's sweeter i've never tried it it's from it's from costco but i don't have a costco membership i got this from work for free for working an event uh last year in the fall Not my Twitch crashing. Emma, what are you doing? Free booze! So which one should I drink? The orange Prosecco or the pink Rosé? I don't know which one would taste. I'm in the mood for something more like crisp and refreshing, but I honestly don't know what would be that. Prosecco. They're both Prosecco, apparently. Orange or pink? Hi, Mom! Poll? Okay, we'll do a poll for orange or pink. <laughs> Crisp and bubbly is Prosecco. So I would be safe with either one, you're saying. Let's do manage poll. New poll. Pink or orange? Oops. Orange. Orange. Pink. Oh my god, I can't type to save my life. Okay. <laughs> Alright, pink or orange? Choose pink or orange. Vote at the top of chat, vote at the top of chat, vote at the top of chat. Rosé is more dry, even being bubbly. This is Rosé Prosecco, so does that mean it's sweet, though? Rosé is juice with alcohol. <laughs> Hi, Hotbox! <laughs> Hi, Office Demon! Orange or pink? Orange or pink? Orange do seem to be winning, though. Even though it's only 10.50 a.m. Let's go, Zorbino! <laughs> Yay! Orange is winning! Orange is winning! I thought we were maybe gonna get it up to like 69% people voted for orange. Alright, orange it is! Why can't I vote? I don't know, could you see the poll at the top of chat? I think on mobile, if you're on mobile, it's like collapsed automatically, so you have to like click the arrow at the top. But the poll's done now, so you can't vote anymore. Okay, I'm gonna open this and get a glass and keep it in the fridge so it stays nice and cool. That's the theory, uh, boy. Will I spill? <gasps> My laptop died. Oh no, you didn't get to vote orange or pink. Oh, orange or pink, ooh. <laughs> Thanks, Hotbox. Okay. Orange won anyway. Yeah. Orange did win. <laughs> Am I gonna 
spill it all over my desk. I actually spilled a glass of water all over my desk yesterday. I was getting ready to go to bed, so I was like watching one more YouTube video, and I brought a glass of water over, and I set it right here. I literally, whenever I set a drink right here, I will spill it. Why? Why do I continue to set a drink right in front of my keyboard? I just like peripheral vision, forget that it's there, and I go to reach for my keyboard or like reach, and it just. Psh. Hi, Snake. We're having a celebration glass. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna pop. to not make it pop and make it go pss, but it's hard it comes out like so forcefully my ear popped as well <laughs> sorry <gasps> why does it have chunkies what are these chunkies I think it's bits of the cork, yeah. Why? Uh, there's no other way to take the cork out. I got cork chunkies in my drink. Cork chunkies. <laughs> Hi, Itzy. Thanks, Semper. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ringtail. Hello, hello. I swallowed it very quickly, and it's very bubbly. I just wasn't expecting it. Extreme bubbles. <laughs> Toast to the most. Yeah, that's right. Post chat. Cheers to a new year of me working towards my goals of who I want to be. <laughs> it's so bubbly. <laughs> Patty, happy birthday! <laughs> I find it funny you still have me as an emote. That's so silly. That's so silly. <clears throat> Thank you, Patty. Guys, if you didn't know, it's also PC Patty's birthday in chat. We're birthday twins. <clears throat> Has P. Has P. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how is it? I think my rating will increase as I continue to sip it and the bubbles kind of subside a little bit. I'm not a super huge fan of like extra bubbly things. Like it's the kind of bubbles you take a sip and it like disappears on your tongue and turns into foam. It's so bubbly. So that's a little weird to me, but the flavor is okay. <clears throat> um, I said hi to Jeff, right? Jeff with two Fs. <laughs> hi! Cute plants, thanks. Oh yeah, I moved around my plants. Um... Yeah, I have- I brought my plant shelf here because I thought they needed some more light and me was being bad and chewing on them in the back so i was like mm -mm, i'm putting it out in the front so even if i'm on my computer i can like at least hear that she's getting into something hopefully i don't know i love the color of your shirt 
Thank you. It is a dress. It was gonna be the dress that, uh, it was like my backup dress for my other dress not getting here in time for Rissa's wedding. But then people pointed out to me that it had a lot of white in it, and I didn't really think about that when I bought it. To me, this is blue. But I guess it does have a lot of white, yeah. Dragon! I am doing ooh, fairly well today, I will say. It feels like, you know, like when you get up early and you do a lot of stuff in the morning and it just feels like you're productive, like, you know, you're making the most of your day. Or do it the most. Hi, Isaiah. Thank you. Thanks, Snake. I feel like I look like I'm 40. <laughs> With my short hair and the dress. <laughs> Maybe I should have worn my black dress today. Hi, Felipe. I opened your gift, your Christmas gift. I'm drinking it finally. <laughs> This is indeed exactly what 40 year olds look like. <laughs> the short hair, man. Short hair makes me feel old. Like it, it makes me look so much older than I am. I like, this is why I like long hair. Do I like it? I like the flavor. The bubbles, at least it's actually getting better. I just took another sip and it didn't like disappear on my tongue. It's getting better. I don't like when a drink is so bubbly that you put it into your mouth and it immediately turns into foam. I like to drink liquid, not foam. Junkyard! 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 Get ready to watch a video from Junkyard. <laughs> I don't feel like a kid. I feel like I should have my life put together and my career path figured out. And I don't. I feel lost. I feel lost. It is my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> my hair is short. Compared to what I had it before, Jeff, it is short. I look like a hippie. Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe if I had, like, the little headband thing. Got more wine. <laughs> I mean, I won't say no. I like wine. Thanks, Ringtail. At some point this year, I found myself in Idaho. I will not say when or where or how long, but just know there's a chance. Okay. That sounds like fun. If you're going road tripping, you should, uh, well, because I know you're into photography and stuff, you should uh, capture all of the, the Idaho wildlife like, Idaho offers a lot of wildlife. Capture it. Hi, hello, Sean. Hello, hello, thank you. I appreciate you. Hi, boss, thank you. <laughs> I'm go play some Sea of Thieves? <gasps> You're playing Sea of Thieves? I didn't know you play Sea of Thieves. I didn't get mine set until I was in my 50s. I'm a slow learner. <laughs> That's how I feel like I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like older with a good career, which I guess is okay because I don't really want kids, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to be like one of the young successful CEOs, you know? I want to be super successful. A, a boss lady. Three kids suck. See, chat, take it from an experienced dad. Kids suck. I do more than I should. I went through a Sea of Thieves phase. I used to play Sea of Thieves with Junkyard, actually. And Squatchy. <gasps> I haven't heard from Squatchy in a while. I wonder how he's doing. Aren't you your own boss lady already? I am technically a boss lady, but I don't get paid like a boss lady. P 
push them back in if I could have. <laughs> uh... Kids are great just not when they are yours. No. Kids are not great. Regardless. You're both a streamer and a coffee shop boss. I don't know if I really consider myself a streamer anymore. I don't know. I don't do it full time. I don't put in the effort that I should. Or that I did when I was full time. I'm going to said that then later in life have kids. I can guarantee you I will not have kids. If I want kids, then I will adopt. But I physically will not put myself through pushing a watermelon out of my teeny tiny vagina hole. Sorry. It's not going to happen. I won't do it. I will not do that to my body. <laughs> Hi, Bethy. <laughs> No, I don't want scars. I want to wear a bikini. Hello? <laughs> I physically do not think. I appreciate that visual. <laughs> I... I seriously do not believe that I could, uh... That I could birth a child. I won't. I won't do that. I, I just can't imagine myself going through that. Nope. <laughs> So I will not. But if, this is a giant if, if I ever have the desire to want to waste money on kids, I will adopt. But do I ever want to waste money on kids? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you for the birthday wishes, Bethy. Yeah, imagine, Klondike. Imagine. I waste money on myself. No idea how I could afford a kid, too. Yeah. It's, it's rough. <laughs> Adopt a watermelon. Yeah, if I have a desire to take care of more things and money isn't an issue, I'll adopt more pets. I'll have another cat. A cat's kind of like a toddler. It pees and poops where it shouldn't sometimes. It throws up on rugs and you have to clean it up. You have to train it to not scratch things. <laughs> Jutana! Happy birthday or something. Thank you for the birthday wishes and thank you for the continued uh, subscriber support. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 51 months. Thank you, thank you. A pup cup. Pup cup. Ow, ow, ow. Can you adopt me? It'd be my second time. No, dragon. You're an adult. You d d handle your own life choices. I'm not paying for your life choices. Hi, Bailey. Thank you. Hello, Jano. It's actually a dress. A very long dress. Long, flowy dress. More cats. Cats also are great listeners, in my experience. Mew is a wonderful listener. Where'd she go? Mew. Oh, she's in the greenhouse. I moved her cardboard greenhouse um, into the hallway where my plants used to be, and now she loves it. She's obsessed with it. She wants to lay in it all the time. It's right between two big plants, so like the big plants kind of lean over it and create like this plant canopy for her to go inside. She, I think she likes it a lot. It's so pretty just like you. Thanks. <laughs> I used to have conversations with my kitty years ago. Yeah, she's a great listener and she talks back sometimes. Mirko chan! Hi! Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Drag butt. <laughs> what should we do today, chat? Hi, Office Demon. Thank you. My cats are terrible listeners. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> 
I kind of have an interest in getting a parrot recon, but I worry, like, if I were to get a bad parrot, you know? Like, some parrots can be very genuine and nice and kind and gentle, and some can be, like, deliberately malicious and hurt you. And then they live for like a hundred years, so if I got a malicious parrot and it sometimes lashed out at me, I would want to give it away, I'm sorry. I would not want to keep a parrot like that. So I want a parrot, but only if it's a very good parrot. From a bird owner, do, do not do it. And I would only want a parrot if I could have a separate room for it. Like if I had a... Like an office room. You could just eat it. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Is this a pun? My coworker has a bard and I only hear horror stories from him. But have you guys seen Apollo? Apollo the parrot? He's so nice. He's like a little gray. Uh, I forget the breed of parrot. Some sort of fancy parrot. And he's so smart and so good and so kind. He asks questions. He's very inquisitive. It's a bird, so just put it in the oven with some potatoes. No, that's a that's an expensive dinner. <laughs> True. Don't feed your parrot cookies. Freaking a. Uh, you know what's funny? We were just talking about Apollo the parrot. Apollo, who is like a viewer in chat, told me to feed my parrot in Minecraft cookies and I had to learn the hard way. Fuck you, Apollo. I will never forgive you for that. <laughs> that was sad, but I guess funny. It made for, it made for a good clip. <laughs> Aw, my dad said, when I get back in town, I will take you to Indiana Jones for your birthday. We'll be working in Montana this week. Heck yeah! Although I just told uh, Jaden, Emma, and Cameron that I wanted to go to Indiana Jones for my birthday. But then I also told Jeff, like boyfriend Jeff, that uh, I was gonna go do it by myself because I wanna go to the theater in downtown. Now what do I do? Do I go see it three times? Do I go see it by myself and with my dad and with my mom? Like, family over there? <laughs> Without you? Still just boyfriend. <laughs> Just go see Aladdin. I can't! It's all done. Oh, I picked up my phone so that I could show you guys Apollo, the parrot. Apollo, yo, we got a spoon selfie on the main thread. Frick, it just refreshed and disappeared. Um, um, Apollo and friends. Here we go. He's so smart. Look at him. Glass. What's this cup made of? What's the cup made of? What am I doing? Oh, water. What's this made of? He's so smart. What am I doing? Pour water. That's right. Pour <laughs> water. Good boy. There's a snack. What's this called? Sock. What color? Black. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? What color? <laughs> What's this He's cup so made? cute! He's also like... I, What's this? <laughs> like, in that video particularly, he like, is scared when he pours water into some things. It's funny. Kiana, Tasty Sloth raise birds to sell. They do, but they raise like, um, parakeets and like, cockatoos and stuff. I would want a parrot like that. Yeah, I really like that video. I like when 
he taps things and goes, what's this? Yeah, he's very smart and inquisitive for that. Um, that was the big video that went viral. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. It was a while ago now. But he's so cute! I would imagine getting him to this sort of... Um... Like, level of awareness. Patty! Thank you so much for the farm gift, it's so nice. Patty, you're so nice. Thank you, I appreciate you. I love you, thank you. I forgot the hellish thing. <laughs> We, but we love Peppa Pig. We love Peppa Pig. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. I appreciate you. Have you seen the vid where he asks for a snack, but he forgot the word snack, so he keeps saying sock? Oh, I don't think I have. <laughs> I also just love when they repeat some things, like... There's a video- well, I think it's in- it's in the video that I'm trying to find, too, where he's, like, chewing on the windowsill, and the owner goes, Hey! No chewing! And then Apollo goes, No chewing! It's so funny. I don't know how to find the video. I guess I can go- <laughs> I guess I could go back in, like, my, um, DMs with Chef, because I sent it to him. A long time ago now. But I did. Oh my gosh, there's just some handsome kitties. Look at this handsome kitty. He's so pretty. Look at that. I want a kitty like that. A cinnamon munchkin short hair floofer. So cute. Oh, don't go in there. Instagram DMs are safe. <laughs> He's asking questions. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, ready? Hey, no chewing. No chewing. Yeah, no chewing. No chewing on the window. Step up. Step up. Touch. I'm trying to get it to where it's not glaring. Jeez. What's that made of? video is so cute. I love it. When he asks questions and the way he says things and he goes, no chewing. <laughs> it's so funny. No chewing. I love Apollo. I want a bird like Apollo. Where I, I don't have to feel afraid that he's gonna attack me. I also have another video. Sorry, this is just a react stream, but on my phone. Another video that I sent Jeff, which is like... Oh, you should just encourage Don to get the parrot he wants. True, he has the money to now. They're like $10,000. He could just get that, that parrot, and then I can go over there. That way you're not stuck with the baggage. Okay, so chat, this is an example of a parrot that I would not want. This is like, this is why I'm afraid of birds. Ready? Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh. 
with birds is like hissing from geese <coughs> being bit on the finger when like trying to touch and interact with like friends birds when I was in high school like every almost every single interaction I've ever had with a bird has been a negative interaction and I like am afraid of birds because of that they only repeat things technically right uh yes however like, they repeat things in the same tone that they're taught to say the word. So she probably tells them, come here, and what's wrong? All the time. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, the I'm not gonna hurt you? <laughs> well, I guess if the bird is actively, like, attacking, then she's probably trying to say that. Like, I'm not gonna hurt you. It's okay. Come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah. The bird would just repeat penis all day. <laughs> but yeah. Birds can be very hit or miss. Kind of like how a lot of people think cats are hit or miss. I think cats can be trained. Like when they're... If you get them when they're young enough, they adapt to like your energy and you as a person. And you can always train them things. I mean, you can train a bird things, and I would assume that that would be the same if you get a young bird. But a lot of people get birds when they're um, a little bit older. Like, you don't really... It's hard to tell the age of a, of a bird. So, I don't know. What's that? <laughs> Penis! No! But yeah, I think to get Apollo, for example, to the way that he is in those videos, takes a lot of training and a lot of dedication. A lot of your time. Hi, React Man! Thank you! I got donuts and coffee today so far, and now we're drinking some Prosecco and chatting. And we were talking about birds, so I was showing bird videos of a very cute bird, bird, and a very not cute bird. Creepy. Cake! <gasps> Yummy! That sounds good, Dimitri. Hi, Apollo. Or Apollo? Oh my gosh. We were just talking about Apollo the bird, sorry. Hi, Artos! It is my birthday. <laughs> Did I turn this down too much? I'm sorry. Oh, rock. <clears throat> What's this? What's this? No chewing. It's just so cute. No chewing. What do we do today? Do we play games together? Like together? If so, what do we play? <clears throat> See, I feel like Jackbox is just what people go to all the time. And then you get people that come into the Jackbox category and they're like, they like come to the smaller communities on purpose because they're super duper good at the game and then they just like own you i know that there was a fairly new um jackbox game that came out i don't think i have it but Yeah, see the last time we played Jackbox and I did the sub room chat code, like two people joined. I feel like Jackbox is fun when you have a lot of people. What do I feel like doing? I don't know. I kind of talked to Emma and I was like, it'd be fun if we could play like Stardew Valley together. That would be fun. But the Stardew Valley save that we started was on our Switch. And I don't like Stardew Valley on the Switch, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the controls. 
I don't like having a controller to to do things. I like aiming with my mouse. We can make a new one. Yeah, I kind of thought about including Jaden too. Like if we all start a Stardew Valley save together and have like a farm together. But then every time that I would want to play, we would all have to play together. And I don't know how well that would work out long term. Yeah, you also can't use mods. That's a thing. Hangover at the movies? What do you mean? Gotta get a Steam Deck. But that's with a controller still. I don't like Stardew Valley with a controller. If he's playing it, I can't. Does he have it on Switch? Didn't I? I got you a Stardew Valley card, didn't I? But it was for the Switch. Is that what I got you? Whoa, Rocket League has some really cool rainbow tires for Pride Month. Look at those. They look spiky. Or like scaly. They look pretty neat. Have you obtained them yet, Jeff? Also, it's just the cover for Rocket League is really cool right now. Very rainbowy. I like colors. We have a few, a few cool things and it's free. So I can log in right now and get those tires. Hmm. Rainbow wings. That's cool. You should log in on my account and get them for me. <laughs> Why are we playing Rocket League? <laughs> We play Rocket League, I have to update. Actually, it's updated right now. But I don't know the UI well enough to just like pop in there real quick and grab what's free. Should I do it right now? Do I do I need to grab it right now? Hey, Squatchy has been playing Rocket League. Did Ryan ever mention the game again? No, I haven't talked to them. Uh, since then, we played with RC Ryan, RC Ryan, and something. Hi, Yuletide. Hello, hello. But you'll forget. You're right. I will forget. Um. The restaurant that had reservations, I did go uh, to, like, RC was a part of that outing, but not Ryan. Ryan and his girlfriend officially moved. They don't live in this apartment complex anymore, so I feel like I'll be seeing less of them. Hi, Sparks. Frick! I know, it's really sad. The gang is breaking up. I bet you have seen a hot girl at your work. Hmm? In what capacity? News update! Rookie pack, elite pack, transformers bundle, pog champ! Okay. Uh... Okay. New- nope. Not news. Uh... Rocket pass! That's not what we want either. Item shop! We can't see, by the way? Yeah, if I show you, then I have to go into the Rocket League category. Esports. A tab with a vague description. That doesn't sound like pride. Uh-oh, the Facebook messages are rolling in. Rise beyond. Oh. Claim free bundle. 
zero points. Wow, we got some wings. Oh, those are feathers. I thought they were like scales or spikes. Rainbow icon. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Rainbow stuff achieved. First time I've logged on in months. <laughs> yeah. But I'll use it next time I play. Whenever that may be. Because I like having colorful cars. I like going for like neon stuff. Good Rocket League sesh. Good games. Good games. <laughs> we improved a lot today. <laughs> Sam wanted to commend you for that sesh. It's kind of cloudy outside. It said there's a chance of rain today. Your camera's white balance is off. Yeah, I don't have my ring light on, so I want it a little brighter. So it's bright so that you can see my face. Ah. Yurko, it was just raining for you. Jameson, hi. Thank you. <laughs> Next week, if we get rain and thunderstorms. It just rained for you. You just sent me a snap of, like, raining in the pool. Oh, did you see it? I played Rocket League for two seconds. <laughs> that was two days ago. Exactly! <laughs> two whole seconds? Yep. <laughs> I like rainbow stuff. Make sure not to touch it for at least two years to recover. <laughs> hmm. Oh, can I? Okay, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> so I have, I have a gift, a, a gift from Jeff to open up on stream. He told me I could open this up on stream. Although he said the other gift that he got me was, was like, t like to not open it up on stream because it was more private. But I don't really understand why it was private because I kind of want to like show you guys. Okay, there's a freaking bug on my speaker. Get out, bug! Look, it's a crystal! It's a crystal! Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty! Uh, it wasn't really private, but it was personal. Yeah, it's personal, but I've been telling chat about it, to be honest. I'm very personable with chat whenever I am here. I feel like it matches my little bluebell succulent. It's very stretched and not healthy, so don't judge. But it matches this perfectly. It's the same color scheme. It's like this nice, like, cloudy green blue color, just like the bluebell. So I think it goes perfectly right here. Anyway, so this crystal is par parasiolite par praseolite i don't know how to say it uh but it's um its properties are to here i'll just i'll just read you what jeff said it's like to help oh frick a piece came off of my succulent getting so stretched out that it's like breaking off in places but i thought i was doing well here so i don't know why it's getting all stretched out all of a sudden it was doing great once upon a time praseolite 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 pra praseolite um it is a crystal that's supposed to help with like the feeling of of being stuck, of being stagnant, and it's supposed to inspire creativity. I'll read you what Jeff said. Jeff said, <laughs> I read that these help people who feel stagnant, inspiring creativity and positivity, and helping you be more spontaneous. Isn't that so cute? You know what else is getting stretched out? Oh. <laughs> Post the thing, I don't have it. Get the extension, forehead. 
this extension. I had a limited amount of characters to use. Oh, yeah. They also sent a sample of another crystal, but... It's, it's one of the... I don't like crystals like these because this is just clutter. This is just like a rock. Unless you have like a nice dish to put them all in. This is just like cluttery rock to me. Um, but this one was called Sadolite or something. <gasps> Heart-shaped ones? Heart-shaped ones. Oh, human heart shaped ones. Oh, interesting. I really love the towers. I think they're so neat. They just look visually cool and they create like nice visual interest. Like eventually if I were to have a shelf where I could put some books to like set this on top of books, it looks so cute. I, I just love the, the spire shaped crystals. Um. I already forgot the name of this, but it's like... I don't know what it does, but it was in a little sample bag that said... Sadiolite or something. But pink books only. Yeah, and this goes so well with pink, because my, uh, my whole desk is pink. And it's like green. It's a natural color. Okay, I'm gonna go put this back where I have it. But yeah, eventually if I were to get like a little, a little glass dish, that would be kind of cute to put a bunch of crystals in there, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go out buying small little crystals like that. I like statement pieces, you know, you know, you know, but yeah, this crystal is really beautiful. I like it a lot. Thank you. It's just so visually interesting. So pretty. Do you feel the creativity? I feel the creativity. <laughs> I feel the juices flowing within. This isn't the wind chime emote the same? Like, isn't it the same? Uh, Channel emote selection. <laughs> the what? Praise your light. Hi, French noodles. Praise your light. Yeah, that's the one. Visually interesting. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty to look at. When I was in Sedona, they had a bunch of places with crystals and stuff like that. Yeah. We went in when Jeff visited. The village has like this crystal place that we went into. And they, they didn't really have like the tower crystals like that, like the the cool crystals that I'm interested in. They had like, like bugs in crystal and like giant geodes that were cut in half. And like, I don't know. It was like a very weird crystal store. <laughs> and every piece was like $4,000. They did have a few, but you didn't like the crystals itself. Yeah, that's true. It needs to be like a pretty color. I don't know. They all have a positive meaning. It's not like one is going to be like, oh, this crystal is meant to give you bad luck. Because who's going to buy that? Like, they all have a positive meaning. So I'm I'm mainly about, like, what it looks like visually. <laughs> that place. I thought you meant the souvenir type shop. Souvenir in Boise? <laughs> anyway, I have I have another package that uh, is from Jeff that I'm gonna open if that's I. Right. Where I wanted to get the cup. Oh, that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. They had they had a lot of small crystals. What's it like to be you? Um, I don't know. What is it like to be me? Do I do I read this first? I probably should open the thing first and then read the card. Oh wait, 
<laughs> you know what? I was literally just thinking about this this morning. Literally, I was just thinking <laughs> about how I didn't have this. I was like, you know what? I want a bigger bag that's... I really wish I would have gotten that yellow tote bag when we were in Kansas City. Aww, thanks. So when we were in Kansas City <laughs> for Rissa's wedding, we went to this little boutique shop and they had a lot of cute stuff there. And this adorable little bag was there. And I was like, okay, if it's still here tomorrow, because there was only one left, one, one left. <laughs> so I was like, if it's still here tomorrow, I'll get it. We didn't have, end up going to the store the other day because we like slept in and I never got the tote bag. And then I regretted it ever since because I really wanted it. Yeah, it's a cute little like crochet springy yellow tote bag. It is the one, yeah. Is this the store? I don't recognize the name of this store. This, that was the name of the store in Kansas City? Altered State. I guess I didn't, maybe it was. I actually didn't think, I just saw like the comma in the name and I was like, yeah, I don't know how to say that. So I just like stopped looking at it. And you also told me like not to inspect the package. So I just did. But yeah, it's a little crochet tote bag. It's yellow. It has daisies on it. Some flowers. Look at how pretty. So cute. But one of the main brands they carry. Oh, it was a store that carried brands. I see. But yeah, this is cute. Thank you, Shara. Thank you. It has a little snap. So it's not just gaping open all the time. Oh, and it's got pockets on the inside. I can put my phone in here. There's another cute tote bag that almost got me to change. <gasps> I know, it's gaping up all the time. <laughs> I love it, thank you. Altered State is built upon the founding principles of giving back and making a difference in the world. Every Monday, 10% of net proceeds in all stores and online will go directly to local charities across the country. This season, our Mission Monday campaign is focused on nonprofits providing cleaner and safer water for our communities. Shop with us on Monday and every day and join us in the movement to stand out for good. This. Yo, it even says packed by JM. You packed this yourself? But not recommend buying from their web shop though. They automatically subscribe you to daily emails. Oh, every shop does that, honestly. You just have to when you sign up they like automatically sign you up for all generic emails but then when you go and you click unsubscribe at the very bottom of the email it'll let you choose like only coupons or whatever i don't know how that's legal whatever tennis got you it's from both of us he just forgot to put my name on it i'll show you guys what tennis got me yeah tennis got me some gifts too actually i opened them earlier because they got here earlier and they were like time sensitive to open. So I already opened them, but I can show you what tennis got me too. This is one of them. It's the plant from Animal Crossing, an Ethereum. I think is how you say it, Ethereum. I don't know how to like properly say it, but it's so pretty. It is struggling a little bit though. All the plants were kind of struggling a bit. Um, when I opened them, this one's got a dead leaf, two dead leaves. But I love the flowers on this. They're not like soft petals. They're like hard, like they feel like a leaf. It's really cool. Anyway, 
This is one. So pretty. He's healing a little. He's struggling in the back a bit, but it's okay. He's, he's doing his best to recover from his long road trip here. I'm just curious to know like which stems, because they all look the same coming out, but then some of them bloom into like the flowers. And some of them just are leaves. So I'm curious to see what this guy is like as he grows more mature. Janice forgot to put firm chat on it. Uh-huh. I've recently had sites where I didn't complete my purchase, didn't create an account, and somehow they still are sending me emails. Yeah, they just get your email, and yeah, a lot of a lot of sites just do that. They just do that. <clears throat> yeah, if you filled in like a field to get like a free coupon or whatever, you're subscribed to the email list. That's why my email inbox is the way that it is. What I posted in Subs Lobby like yesterday, how it was like 5,687 unread emails. It's just all of the marketing emails. I just ignore them. Arthurium, Arthurium. Yeah, that. I think for one of them, I didn't even press in a button after filling my email. That is kind of crazy, yeah. My max is up to like 40k and I can't be bothered to clean it anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't bother. I don't care. It's just like if it's an important email, I'm going to star it so that I can go through my starred emails later. Anyway, this is one of them. It comes in a cute little like blush colored pinky pot. Be cute, be cute. This is another one. This one is struggling a little bit to uh, heal as well after his long journey, but is technically classified as a succulent. I forget the actual name of this guy. It had a very difficult to pronounce name that started with a K, um, but it's technically classified as a succulent. Um, it blooms into little flowers from like winter to spring. So I'm, I'm kind of curious as to when these are gonna die off where it came from was a little like cooler and more spring-like. Calancho, that's what it was. Calancho. I got mom some of those, but they were pink. They're dead now. <gasps> some of these, the calanchos. Yeah, the, honestly, all the plants are, I really hope they heal a little bit better because this guy's got some dead leaves now that weren't dead before. And like the ends of the very large leaves are yellowing up which does indicate overwatering, but these are self-watering plants, so they shouldn't be overwatering themselves. I did actually look into how these pots were made. I got curious. So they use a string method. So the, um, the pot that is like, like the pot is here, and then the inside of the pot that has the plant is a little bit like elevated and then you fill up the base with water and then there is a string that is in the water and goes through the soil. So the string is what's distributing the water through the soil. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. <gasps> Hydrate, does that mean drink more Prosecco? But yeah, I'm curious to see how a self-watering pot is going to take care of a succulent. Because succulents are very finicky waterers. So, already this guy is struggling, but I'm hoping it's just ah! due to him having a rough travel over here. And um, hopefully he'll perk back up after he adjusts to his new surroundings. But yeah, this is a calancho. He's in like an orangey, or he's, he's orangey bloom colored. And he's in a, a sea foamy colored pot. Kind of cute, kind of cute. Hi, Jordan, hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a dress. It's a dress. Thank you. And then the last one. The last one is stuck on my, um, 
my like the bar it's that not this one but this one this hanging plant it it didn't come with the hanger but i decided to put it on a hanger so it's it's this guy right here is it gonna focus on that this guy it's a heartbeat philodendron and actually this one's like very healthy and full and beautiful and it's got multiple vines starting i actually have a hartley philodendron already but it is a lemon lime variant so now i have a small baby lemon lime hartley philodendron and then i have the regular hartley philodendron. so this guy is like very bright in color but he's kind of he's kind of struggling you can see there are some dry crispy ends to the leafies but yeah, this guy is basically the same as that guy, but that guy's a darker green than this one. And much healthier. And more mature. It's like a, a more filled out plant. Hi, Tobacco Brown! Do limes turn into lemons? Lemon lime just suggests the color. Like it's a, it's a very bright green and bright yellowy plant rather than the stereotypical dark green. I didn't know you had self-watering oh. pots, Mirko-chan. They aren't dead, they're just done with their growth cycle. Yeah, so the calanchos are... It's a succulent, so it only blooms in like winter to springtime. So as spring is ending and it gets too hot for the blooms, the blooms will wither and die, but the succulent leaves them themselves will stay plump and healthy. Oh yeah, and then that one's in a white pot. So Tennis got me three planties. Three planties. Thank you, Tennis. <laughs> Can never have too many planties. Although I definitely am running out of surfaces to put my plants on. about the crochet tote bag. Thank you, Jeff. I can't believe you found it. <laughs> I honestly have thought about it so much since I left it in the store. I was like, dang, I really wanted that tote bag. <laughs> See, chat, get you a man that pays attention to what you like in a store and then gets you it later. <laughs> A sneaky pick of the tag on the pants when you weren't looking? Oh, really? <laughs> You're thinking way ahead. What? Yeah, I did really like those pants too. I still think they would have been nice, solid, comfy pants, but it was like going into summer. And I don't really wear pants when it's summertime, so I was like, eh. Yeah, buying gifts is hard for a significant other for sure. It's hard. Buying gifts for anyone is hard. Start hanging them from the ceiling. I want to actually, but I don't know where to hang stuff. I have some macrame hangers that my grandma got me that are meant for hanging from the ceiling. I just, I don't know how to start hanging them up. And then like, if I do hang them from the ceiling, I kind of think I want the plants that are self, like in that self watering thing to be the ones that I hang up there. Because if it's a regular plant that I have to water like every three days, that is tedious to get a step stool out and like take it down and go water it in the sink, let it dry and then hang it back up in the macrame hanger. Whereas if it's the self watering one, you just pop open the little like thing and pour a bunch of water in and it's good all month. What are pants? Who wears pants in the summertime? They're too hot. Speaking of too hot, this is getting warm. It's hot in here. 77 degrees. <laughs> My dress. Thanks. 
I said it earlier, but I initially got this dress for as a backup dress for my blue dress for Rissa's wedding to not get here in time. But then this dress was ha like too white, and uh, I didn't end up wearing it to Rissa's wedding. So I still have it. This is this is it. And so I like you know I'll wear it today. It's my birthday. I can wear a dress on my birthday, so it's my birthday dress. We have a Jeff for a day. Why would you want to steal Jeff from me on my birthday? <laughs> Needs more strawberries? Strawberries where? Business idea if you want to become a CEO. <laughs> Pimp me out. Oh god. In the drink. I have grapes, but I don't have strawberries. <laughs> More hydrate! I'll just finish it off. It's almost gone. And then I can get a nice cool glass. <laughs> I do want to be a CEO. Anyone need a CEO for their company? I volunteer as tribute. I have managing experience of a small local coffee shop. And you might be like, small and local? Pfft, that doesn't equate to a giant business CEO position. Actually, it does because in a small company, I do everything. Whereas in a large company, I could just do everything on a, on a larger scale. Anyone need a CEO? Streamer is older, but is she wiser? Yeah. <laughs> You're short. <laughs> Shorty. You assume CEOs do something. Exactly. What do CEOs actually really do? <laughs> Thank you, Taro. Hello, hello. Actually, Tennis, I'm kind of mad about it because I this was a DoorDash grocery delivery because over the weekend I was feeling very crampy and bloated and I couldn't bother going to the store, but I needed like female supplies, you know? So I made someone else do it for me. And then at, while they were getting female supplies, I also had them get uh, like grocery stuff, snackies and stuff. So I initially got cotton candy grapes because you raved about them so much. And this bitch brought back green fucking grapes. Hello? These aren't cotton candy grapes, bitch. These are green grapes. Regular green grapes. Actually, they're technically called white grapes. So I just have white grapes, not cotton candy grapes. <laughs> Here, shorty. I know, I have yet to try cotton candy grapes. Yeah, I, uh, my, like, order of importance was going to be cotton candy grapes, red grapes, and then green grapes. But she just got white grapes. Green grapes, whatever. I mean, grapes are still good no matter what, but I was really looking forward to cotton candy, and then if they were out of cotton candy, my backup was gonna be red grapes because I do prefer red over white slash green. But she just got white slash green, assuming they were the same as cotton candy grapes. I have tried putting grapes in the freezer. I was looking forward to trying putting like cotton candy grapes in the freezer. I do, however, really like, okay. Okay, this is gonna be contradicting and I'm sorry if I'm confusing, but I think it has to do with the inside texture. So I love that the way that like regular, nice and like perfectly ripe grapes will kind of like pop in your mouth. Like it's a little bit of a crunch, but I hate when tomatoes do it. I don't like like a raw tomato popping in your mouth. I don't, I don't like that. But like the slimy texture within a tomato isn't very good, but a grape doesn't have that slimy texture. So maybe that's the difference. Anyway, <clears throat> I like biting into a fresh grape, but when you put it in the freezer, it's kind of like hard to bite on. It still has great flavor and it's nice and cold and it kind of cools you down, especially in the summer. But I don't think it's as satisfying as a nice fresh grape. But I do think it's a good quick fix if you ever get a bundle of grapes and a bunch of them are like soft and not like that nice firm bite into it grape, put them in the freezer. Problem solved. Hi, Alex. 
finished exams and eighth grade. Congratulations. Congrats. That means you are on to, wait. High school, if you're American. So yeah, you're an incoming freshman. That's pretty exciting. High school is definitely an experience. Best advice I can give for high school next year is uh, just remember that high school isn't permanent. Your life only begins after high school. Also, thank you for the birthday wishes. <clears throat> 10 billion scam emails are sent to Gmail accounts every single month. That's just Gmail alone. That is kind of crazy. Keith. ASMR. Oh, frick. <laughs> I could never do ASMR seriously. I'm sorry. I have to make it weird. <laughs> I remember my first time going into ninth grade, too. Actually, I don't know if I remember my first day. No, I do remember. I remember the aftermath of my first day because my dog died and I threw up all over my dad's car. That was my first day of ninth grade. But I don't remember the school day itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and it was the day that Michael Jackson officially died. So like, I missed the bus after my very first like anxiety inducing day at a new high school. I got lost so many times during the day. Um, I missed the bus. Thankfully, I missed the bus because I would have thrown up on the bus if I wouldn't have, or if I, if I would have made the bus because I started feeling kind of, kind of like crappy after I missed the bus and I was waiting for my dad to come pick me up. And my dad comes to pick me up and he's driving me home. I don't live that far away from the school at this time. And uh, I end up like, Oh my god, dad, we need to pull over. And I uh, I said it too late, and I ended up like up trucking all over the back seat of his car. And then I like finished on the side of the road. But then he also, like, before that, we were talking about how Michael Jackson passed. And then after that, when we got home and I was laying on the couch eating saltine crackers, he was like, So I don't mean to put a damper on your day any further, but we had to put Jake down today. Balled my eyes out. Jake was my boy. He was my boy. He was my big stinky boy. He had a giant tumor on his shoulder that ended up like bursting open and bleeding out. So they had to put him down. Dogs always die in such tragic ways, dude. So sad. Why do animals, n not only like dogs, but just all animals. Animals live such shorter lives than we do. It's true, at least I didn't throw up on Jake. <laughs> and like, when animals die, they always go because of some reason that the earth takes them sooner than they are ready to. Like cancer, or they just get really sick and stop eating, or I don't even know, it's always some reason. It's not, it's hardly ever just because of like old age. Yeah, it makes it so traumatic and sadder than it needs to be. Oh my gosh, yeah. Actually, Alex, it's funny that you say that. I remember being younger um, in like the second house that my parents were in, we had a like a boy beta fish and a girl beta fish. And we didn't know when we got the fish that boy and girls didn't get along. Like the girl was up. Bitch. She was a raging bitch and she would like bite the the flowy elegant fins of the male So we had to separate them. So the the bitch obviously got like the smaller Like little cup of water and the male because he's a nice like sweet little fishy got the mansion and this bitch Was so sad about her downgrade of a home that she jumped out in the middle of the night And like I found her the next morning when I woke up like dried up and crisped on the floor <laughs> I guess I got a suicider. <laughs> That's so sad. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man getting bit for free. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he got eaten alive. Hi, Toski. Hello, hello. Ninth grade was still middle school for us before they switched it. Oh, really? I'll be joining you soon. It's almost your birthday? My first day was three days after Casey passed. Aww. Good old Casey. <laughs> fish I haven't had fish sticks in a hot minute. It's been a while. Okay, yeah, I need a refill. Anyone in chat want a refill? Cheers. Fill your cups. Did Prosecco's and... Prosecco's? Prosecco and donuts go together because I want another donut. I'm already feeling a little tipsy after one glass, which means I haven't eaten enough today, so I'm gonna eat another donut. Oh, yeah! Who's playing Final Fantasy 16? Jaden was telling me about that today. Krispy Kreme donuts. What I would do for a Krispy Kreme donut. I don't understand it either. I asked Jaden today. <laughs> Why would they not be MMORPGs like Final Fantasy? I mean, from what I understand, the only correlation between all of the Final Fantasies is that they are like hosted in the same universe, the same world but they all have different stories. They're all about different characters. I hate that they still do FF on PlayStation exclusive. Jaden said that it was exclusive for only six months. And then they will begin porting it over to PC. trying to get me to chug a whole bottle of Prosecco. <laughs> yeah, I should get a, a cup of water too. Ice water sounds yummy. This is actually so cool and refreshing right now. Speaking of Final Fantasy, my dad is, uh, <clears throat> he goes through phases where he is, oh, this dress is kind of slippery, so I literally almost fell out of my chair. Um, my dad is going through phases where he, like, gets obsessed over certain things. So right now his obsession is watching what sells on Etsy. And, um, lately, it's been old PC games, old like VHS tapes that are going for like thousands of dollars on Etsy. Wait, not Etsy, eBay. Oh my God, sorry. They will start with an E. Um, <clears throat> so uh, when I was over there for Father's Day, he was talking about how he wants to sell like all of the VHS tapes in a bundle for like a, a large sum of money <laughs> because they're going on, on eBay for a lot right now, apparently. And um, he was looking up the 
like price for the old Final Fantasy games, and he has a, a couple of those, like the original Final Fantasy like PlayStation games. So he was saying how much those were going for. Kind of crazy, but it's all like the sealed, like factory sealed games that are going for a lot, or like the collector's edition, you know, not like open used stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that's the state of my dad's games, too. I do remember when games were skipped, or when games skipped when they were scratched. I remember Jaden deliberately scratched my Barbie horse game because he was mad at me once. He took it out while I was playing it, scratched it with his fingernail, and then put it back in the PlayStation. And it forever was ruined. I could only play the first world, like the first three levels. And after that, all the other levels were fucked up because he scratched my game. <laughs> I love that game. Speaking of horse, Barbie horse, the Sims 4 is coming out with horses and it reminds me of Barbie horse. Any sort of horse game is gonna remind me of Barbie horse. <laughs> Hi, Fickle. Just took a nap. Welcome back from your nap. Hope it was a nice power nap for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How rich is Felipe in channel points? No. I hate, 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 hate that my desk does that. It means that it's uneven, but I don't know how to like even it back out again. I ran out for now. Storp it. <sighs> Bro, what? This was in my dress. A button, a bag with a button. It's in my dress. I only just now noticed it. weird that I didn't notice it sooner cookie for Neil Neil gets a cookie kitty do you want a cookie what is that pill it kind of does look like a pill you're right it's, it's like a meth pill in a bag it's a button I swear it's a button to my dress see look look at the back it's a button <clears throat> A button of meth. <coughs> this morning, um, Jeff, when Jade, when I was letting Jaden and Emma into my apartment and we were going up the elevator, I was like, sorry, I didn't notice your text when you got here 15 minutes ago or whatever. I was opening up gifts from Jeff. And I was like, he got me a crystal. And Jaden was like, crystal meth? Like, he didn't know like crystal. Speaking of meth, <laughs> just came with a sleeping pill. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Kitty, do you want a cookie? Chat wants you to have a cookie. Zodiac signs and astrology too. You know, honestly, I wasn't Aratos up until this was j during Jeff's visit. We talked about like astrology stuff and Zodiac signs. 
And he literally read, like, what a cancer is supposed to be. Hi! Do you want a cookie? He read what a cancer is supposed to be, and it literally fit me to a T. Like, legitimately read what cancer is, and that's me. It's so me. To a freaking T. <laughs> I've started something that's now snowballing out of control. Hey, uh... It's okay. It's just it's just a healthy appreciation for this creative side of thinking. He's want a cookie. Come here. Oh. The description was decently specific and every single attribute matched. Yeah. Sunfur! Oh my goodness, I honestly thought I would never get to see what this feature looked like. Simper! Thank you so much for, like, testing this feature. This is the, the pay money to get your message pinned in chat uh, feature that Twitch is introducing. <laughs> it's all blue. It's such a pretty blue color. Simper, thank you. Thank you so much for the 20 doll hairs to pin your message, you silly goof. You silly goof. I don't see it. Are you in mod view by chance? <laughs> Hello, ZZCCZCX. I have seen lots of people play only up. I think I would get so mad at that game, if I'm honest. I would fall and like lose progress. I just want to quit. I would lose my shit. You're totally right. I, I would. I don't have the patience to be able to play that game. But I appreciate everybody else's patience to be able to play that game. <laughs> I would get so mad though. Hi, Flanks. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, Shad. It looks like an eyes princess. Thanks. Tarot cards next. <clears throat> oh, each amount has its own color. Oh, I thought it was just blue to kind of match his name. Like Semper Wolf has their name as like a blue color. Actually, it's like more purple when you look at it against like the dark Twitch background. But then when you look at it in the message, it's definitely very blue. Now I'm confused. What games are we playing? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know what I want to play. I do kind of like just chatting. What if we just answered like, would you rather questions? That's kind of fun, right? Can we just do that? <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> Play never have I ever and loser has to drink. <laughs> the ultimate list. Okay. I have iced coffee. I'm a little bit jealous. I kind of want more coffee. And I'm a bit afraid to uh, make more of the iced coffee that I have. Ace, remember when you sent me like that lifetime supply of Starbucks instant iced coffee? So it all expired in 2022. And I'm wondering if the last time that I made that, it tasted really funny because it was expired in 2022. <laughs> So now I have like 18 boxes of Starbucks instant coffee that is all expired in 2022. <laughs> Should just be coffee and sugar. Yeah, I know, but did you know that sugar can go sour? Sugar 
sugar can literally go bad, and when it's bad, it tastes sour. Would you rather change sex every time you sneezed, or not know the difference between a baby and a muffin? <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but maybe I would want to change sex every time I sneezed. Would I be a hot boy though? Hold on. Would I would I be able to look like the the hot Snapchat filter boy? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Chat, let me show you how hot I am as a boy. <laughs> um, how do I how do I search? <laughs> how do I search Snapchat filters? Wait, if someone finds it, can they send me a snap so that I can just click the filter and the snap and be able to use it? I don't know how to search. Um, search? No, that's... wait. Boy. Frick. How do I search filters? Ah! No, get the fuck out of here, Sunny D. No one likes you. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I don't know how to use Snapchat. Stop it! I don't know how to use the filters in Snapchat, to be honest. Why can't I just search filters? What's wrong? Sunny D's nuts. That's memories. Is Emma using the hot boy? Yes! Yes, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is like generic. G this is, oh my god. I look like I have a f girthy fucking neck. Is there a different hot boy filter? <laughs> is, there, is there another one? I feel like there's another one. <laughs> this is me as a man. So if I sneezed and turned into this when I sneezed, I think I'd be okay. I think I'd be chillin'. To be honest. Why is your neckline 80% of your body? Besides my girthy neck. Which is why I think there's another one. There is another one that's a little more realistic. <laughs> your neck is wider than your shoulders. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> You're right, my shoulders are... <laughs> oh my god, I can't hold it still. Look at my shoulders compared to my neck. <laughs> I'd get a job at Silicon Valley. I don't know what that is, but I'd get a job on like, Are You The One? Or like, uh, Love Island? Or... <laughs> All of those. <laughs> this is not... What is this filter? This is not... This is like a... A One Direction filter. Hold on, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this hair. This gives me brunette afro. This makes me like a wannabe Jonas brother. <laughs> Damn! Uh -uh. This doesn't really make me look like a boy, to be fair. <laughs> Okay, that's better. It's better? What? How do you search snap filters? I know I've done it before. Love Island is soon to come to Romania too. Thanks for Santos! Thank you, thank you. Any birthday cake? Hi, Lirial. Thank you. <laughs> no birthday cake, but I did have Krispy Kreme donuts for free. I'd get a job at... at okay, yes, yes. Those are stereotypical Hollister boys for sure. Search for my twin. How do I how do I search though? If I search for my twin, 
It goes through my contacts. Wait, never mind. There's some lenses. My new twin. That is the one that Emma just sent me. That's seriously me? Dude, why is my neck so fucking thick? I'm sorry. But like... Maybe I should just take it closer. That's me as a boy. Smash or pass, chat. Smash or pass. <laughs> He's a 10, but his neck too thick. If his neck is thick, you want to know what else is thick? Take a guess. Oh, yeah. Shave and I'd smash. You don't like my chin strap? Is that what that's called? I don't know facial hair. <clears throat> I still have makeup on is the weird thing. Like, I didn't get rid of my eyeliner. But to be honest... Guys with eyeliner is kind of a vibe. Like, some guy can really pull it off. You tell me to wear makeup, though. Okay, I don't tell you to wear makeup, but I tell you it's okay to wear things that are considered makeup, like tinted moisturizer. That's technically makeup. Chat. Is tinted moisturizer considered makeup? Then you'll just be a BTS person? Yes! <clears throat> moisturizer is skincare, but tinted... Moisturizer has color in it, and when you put color on your face, that's makeup. I literally work in the industry. I know you do. It's it's okay. It's okay for boys to wear some makeup. Girls do. So why can't it be normalized for men? I kind of wish I the snap made me have longer hair, though. Why does it cut my hair so short? Wait. <laughs> hey, chat. How you doing, baby girl? Hey, chat. <laughs> Pass, 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 pass. It's because of my language. <laughs> Hi, cutie MTK. Hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> no, stop it. My new twin. There's a women one. I feel like the women one sucks. Is this the women one that I know of that like makes your hair red no matter what? Yeah, this is the... I hate that it, like, cuts off. Um... Okay, hold on. Me as a redhead. It really looks so different. Oh my goodness. I look like a completely different person. I look like AC? No, I don't. AC does not look like this. If anything, I feel like I look like my mom. I don't know. I think it's just the dark hair that makes me look like my mom. Now that's Brie. No! Tinted moisturizer, glow up, my kings. Why is Dawn calling me? Do I answer on stream? <laughs> oh frick, I just pressed the red phone button. Oh my God, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my God, I didn't mean to. Ah! <laughs> Oops. 
Oops. I just clicked the, the icon that looked like a phone, but it was red and I didn't realize. Hello, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hang up on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you! Yeah. Yeah, I think, well, so this morning I went to Starbucks and Krispy Kreme to get my free coffee and my free box of donuts. I brought back a donut for Cameron. Um, so I was at the house briefly, but then I went back to stream. So, uh, I don't know. I don't really know. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm down to come over and hang out. I kind of would like it to be a time where, like, Jaden can be there and when Emma can be there for sure. So whenever that lines up, I'm down. Yeah. I mean, he can always, he has the car, so he can always come back over for an evening, right? He's just house sitting, so it's not like he has to watch the house every waking moment. I'm at home streaming. <laughs> I'm at, at home streaming, like in my apartment streaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't hear you. They can hear what I'm saying, but they can't hear you. over tonight I'll, I'll just be hanging out at home and streaming for the day so um i know mom gets off work at five yeah
Yeah. <clears throat> I'm down. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll uh, brainstorm what I'm in the mood for for dinner, and I'll message mom and ask her if she can just pick me up after work. I think that would work out time-wise. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. See ya. I smell my armpits. They're stinky. I put deodorant on today, but of course it's natural deodorant. So because I sweat through my natural deodorant, it's still stinky. Um... <laughs> This is nothing new. I am a stinky streamer, but deodorant's supposed to help. However, yeah, I can still kind of... It smells like oat milk latte and B.O. Together. Dress is ruined. Yeah, I have to wash it. <laughs> it doesn't help that I don't use my AC in my apartment. The temperature's only going up. What did I say it was last time I mentioned it to you guys? Now it's 78. Anyway, <clears throat> 77. Okay, so it's gone up one degree thanks to my computer. <laughs> Sells on eBay for 2K. I'll uh, I'll bottle up my my armpit drips for you guys. Open a window, but it's like 82 outside. 84 now outside. Um, it looks like I might be going over to my mom's house for dinner tinight what should I what should I ask for dinner should I go out to eat or should I ask for something to be cooked what am I in the mood for tonight I don't know why you don't use AC I have it on all day every day and pass pay less than thirty dollars in electrical I I wouldn't be opposed to using my AC, but I've never set up the AC through the app, like on my phone. So I don't like to manually use it. So I just don't use it. If if I were to be able to hook it up with the Wi-Fi and use the app, then I might use my AC, but I'm too lazy to do that. Going out is fun, but what do I want? What do I want for dinner? What am I in the mood for? Pull your phone out and set it up. Pizza, sushi. <laughs> You'll get me some too. I don't know. Longhorn. What is that? I don't even know what that is. I don't even think we have that. Get a prime rib. I think it's too late for that. Cheese curds from Culver's. I'm not gonna lie. After the fried pickle throw up in my mouth incident, I have not been craving fried food. <laughs> it's it's been a no for me. Fried food has just been meh, nah. Oh my gosh, Texas Roadhouse rolls. Mm, that does sound pretty good. I don't even know what Longhorn Steakhouse is. Do I have that here? Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, Don's cooking is pretty good. Don Don cooks some pretty great meals. Um, not me getting work messages on my birthday. Um, I need to go sleepies. Sorry, I was on the phone. I sort of read that. I saw that go sleepy, and I was like, freak. Good night, Den. Sleep well. It's early. But thank you for tuning in and thank you for chilling and hanging out and chatting. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, for the coffee, feel free to toss it. I got it all for free anyway. Ugh. I 
just don't know if it's still good or if like the last time that I made it and the reason why it tasted so weird is because it was expired. <clears throat> I'll have to I'll have to try it out again. What is this tinted moisturizer? Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, stop touching your face. There's too much bacteria and germs. They build up and cause breakouts. <laughs> this is why you use the face mask that I got you, isn't it? It's because you saw this guy using the face mask and you were like, Oh yeah, my girlfriend got me face masks that I initially thought were too emasculine, but since this guy is using them, I'm gonna go ahead and use them now. This is why your skin never looks as good as it should. One, you keep touching. <laughs> I would have used it anyway. I'm not that impressionable. I don't know. You all of a sudden are super interested into tinted moisturizer when this guy said that it was okay to use tinted moisturizer as a man. I have not used chat GPD personally, but I have seen uh, people use it and I have seen... <laughs> The tinted moisturizer I wouldn't have gone for. It's okay to use tinted moisturizer as a man. If your skin looks flawless, who cares if it's makeup or not? Like, no one else is gonna know but you! I am all for tinted moisturizer. Yes, please. Also, true, normalized male makeup. Like I said, guys with eyeliner? Kind of a vibe though. But also I understand like eyeliner is a very bold look. It's not for everyone. I get that. But like makeup on men is okay. My colleague will know if tomorrow I get to the office with all the red blemishes on my face. Then you just be like, yeah, I'm using a tinted moisturizer. You work in a cosmetic company. That is almost expected of you. The doe eye look. Wonder if I could pull it off. Hi, OPPU! What's up? I'd probably poke my eye out. Yeah, eyeliner, when you first start wearing it, especially mascara, if you ever, like, first start wearing mascara, I remember my middle school mascara days, dude. I poked my eye so many times. And you wonder, like, mascara goes on your eyelashes, not your actual eyeball. How are you poking your eyeball with your mascara? It just happens. You just don't have control. You don't have that pristine control when you're first starting out. <clears throat> I came in at work a couple weeks ago and a couple days afterwards, I was putting on makeup and thought, I'm gonna have to do this every day from now on. Wonderful. Makeup is a little tedious when you do it every day. Like a full face of makeup. I poke my eyes a lot, yeah. Aim issue skill diff. Yeah, just practice in Kovax and then you'll get better at putting your mascara on. For real. <laughs> Put on some concealer and eye makeup. See, concealer is something that I skip personally. Thank you so much for the 46 months, Hood. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hood, can I be honest? I'm surprised that you have integrated so well with our community. Coming as like a friend from Tuna. You know, quite literally like in the hood. Like, you know, one of those guys. Like, like too hard for woo life. But yeah, here you are, still around, still hanging, still vibing, still chilling. <laughs> I guess it helps that you guys like anime a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Hoodfoo's one of the lads. He's not, he's not a softy. They don't call him Hoodfoo Woo for nothing. <laughs> How's the computer? 
Oh yeah, how did that turn out? I was like kind of following uh, Tennis's IT help for a while, but then I was like, I right, this is this is like way too in depth for me to follow. <gasps> you took it to a shop? Oh no. Bapples! Thank you so much for using your prime on me. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if I have hard work and devotion to streaming anymore, I'll be honest. I don't stream as much as I used to, which is kind of sad. And I would really like to dedicate <clears throat> time to streaming again, but there's just so much more, like... If I want to feel successful in life, like what feels successful to me? If I want to feel successful, I need to get, I need to land like a career that's going to support me financially by myself on my own. I need to work and strive for that and achieve that. And then I will feel successful. I just kind of feel like right now I'm battling three different things at once. I'm battling my job that's keeping me afloat and you know, letting me like live on my own, pay rent, pay my bills, groceries, all that stuff. Like I'm, that's priority number one right now because that's my financial stability. But then I'm also trying to work towards a career in the future that's going to be better than that. Like what I have now for me, um, stability wise. So I'm trying to work on my portfolio and game development at work. So that's like my second priority. But then, like, I still love you guys, and I still love Twitch. Twitch still has a very, like, solid spot in my heart, and I always want to come back to Twitch. But I will say, it is on the back burner for now, just because it is... Yeah, I mean, it, it's sentimental to me, but it's also... It's just not as solid of a rock as it once was. That's why I've allowed it to kind of slip away. I would like to dedicate more time to it. And actually today, if I'm completely honest, I had a, a heartfelt conversation with my siblings today and they told me, they kind of convinced me to start doing art streams. So I'm kind of thinking I might maybe do that. But it would be, it would be, Probably no camera, so that I was not pressured to, like, get ready to do it. And it would be, <laughs> well, like, painting, like, physically painting, and, like, doing my game development work is drastically different. They, those are two different realms of the art world. <laughs> but... I kind of do want to start sharing with you guys the way that I do my my game development work and maybe, just maybe, it would help me kind of keep on track. Like I could look at chat every now and again, but then I could actually, like, you guys could help hold me accountable to finishing what I said I was going to finish. It's just a little embarrassing to be, to like show my process because I do kind of go back and forth a lot. I do like start making something and then I'm like, oh no, that's ugly. And then I like draw all over it again, you know, like it's a big work in progress. Yeah, that is kind of something that's a little, um, a little like motivational to me, like maybe people in the game industry would be browsing Twitch and come across and be like, hey, I really like your, your work in progress. I actually work for an indie game development company and we were looking to hire environmental artists and you look great for that type of position. And then I'd be like, oh, really? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, art is always something that you can do better at and learn from. Yeah. Yeah, I am kind of worried about that, like backseat artists. 
it's more of kind of just like I want to vibe and have someone holding my attention at my computer so that I'm focused on it. I think I allow myself to stray too much and I get distracted by social media or like I throw up a stream in the background and I get distracted by that stream rather than like focusing on working. <laughs> we have this job paying $1 million. I don't know about that. <laughs> Hi, Yatesy. Just time them out. Yeah. Animal Crossing. Okay, well, Animal Crossing is a different form of, like, creativity. That's more of just, like, designing. And you have full creative freedom over that. But, like, when it comes to game development art, sure, it's still a creative art form. And there's still some sort of, like, freedom in that. But there's... There is a way that it needs to look in the end to be accepted into the game development world. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking... I almost wonder... I mean, my siblings told me to ask you guys, actually if you would prefer it to be on Twitch, or if I could make that my kick thing. If any, whoop, anytime I stream on kick, it's because I'm doing art streams. I do have my nice cozy, like, Jatata! Six, did you do six, six gifted subs because you didn't want to hear Peppa Pig? We love Peppa Pig. Jatata, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for gifting six subbies to the community. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I mean, yeah, kick kick gives me more money per like sub thing. <gasps> Recon? But like I just Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm more thinking of like I would go and do this art stuff on kick because there wouldn't be pressure to perform well. Like on Twitch, I'm pressured to perform well because it is my main social media outlet. It is where I do the best and it is where I want to grow the most. Recon, thank you for the five gifted subbies. Thank you, Agitana. <laughs> thank you so much for the five gifted subbies as well. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Agitana <laughs> and Recon, thank you. You guys are so generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aww. <laughs> thanks. Baffles, thank you for the 100 biddies. I believe you can do it. Wishing you all the best. Going to get my dinner. Lots of love. And go for your goal. Thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits and the kind words. I need motivational words today, to be honest. I am now deaf. <laughs> It really doesn't sound that bad to me. I listen on speakers, though. Do all of y'all listen in a headset? Is that why it's so bad? The lore of this alert being left over from a subathon and just never going away hurts my soul. Because it did so well during the subathon! I decided to keep it. <laughs> earbuds? It can't be that bad in earbuds. Earbuds already have terrible sound quality. You definitely won't be discovered on kick for work. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, that's not really my goal of streaming my artwork. I would say my goal for streaming my artwork would be to just hold myself accountable to actually finishing 
like the piece of my project that I hope to finish by the end of the day, you know? Like if I'm streaming and I'm saying, okay chat, today we're gonna work on this pillar for this building and I hope to finish it by the end of the stream. Then you guys would be able to hold me accountable to finishing like what I said for that stream, you know? Westar, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. You said it did so well, but what I hear is it traumatized so many and did so well. <laughs> I'd go for a kick since you have less potential randos coming in and saying shit. Yeah. It's your birthday, it is. <gasps> Yours is in three days? Happy early birthday. Make sure you record it. I can see time lapses of the progress on YouTube or TikTok. Yeah. I, I am a big fan of time lapses. I love watching people's time lapse of work. The only thing is that like time lapses between the programs that I use, like I, for example, swap between a program called 3D Coat, which is a preview of the texture on a 3D model. Did I turn down my volume? I didn't mean to do that. And then I go between that and Photoshop, which is like the 2D, like splayed out version of my texture. So the time lapse would be of the 2D version because that's what I focus on most. And then you just kind of like save it and preview it on your 3D model. And I kind of go back and forth between programs, but you wouldn't really see the 3D model until like the very end. It would be a, a time lapse of the 2D version. So it's, it's so hard to explain because I, I feel like not a lot of people understand 3D digital art. People understand digital art in like a 2D sense or a concept sense, but they don't really understand like how drawing a texture for a 3D model works. It's very different. It doesn't really look like anything until it's formed on the model. Yeah, yeah. The big reveal at the end, for sure. <laughs> I'm Spresplot today. Vision OS? What's that? I chose six to be number one and get more channel points. Oh, wait, is that a thing? If you are the number one gifter in the stream, you get a higher cut of channel points? That's a thing? I had no idea. What? Oop. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm tipsy. I screwed about with kettles in 3DS Max maybe 20 years ago. That's all I know. 3DS Max was the first 3D software that I used in school. A Mac AR headset thing. I don't know anything about that. More channel points for more gifted subs. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. Droopy. Sorry, I realize I missed some messages in between the gifted subbies. Thanks, Droopy. Thank you for saying hello and spending part of your day with me on my birthday. Monthly first gift to sub plus 500. 
Snides. Snides, thank you so much for the 27 month resub. I appreciate you. Thank you. You're so kind. Kettle was a built-in shape. So kettles it was. I feel like I remember that briefly from school. Like a kettle bell. Right. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. A kettle like a tea kettle. Yes. It is a default shape. It is a default 3D model. You are right. It is. Nice tap. A plus. Thanks. <laughs> That kind of hurt my ears. Ow. Like, created a ringing in this ear. <laughs> All done. I do have to pee. So, I am gonna go pee real quick. And I think you guys should go pee too. Let's all go pee together. Let's all hold hands and go pee together. And then we'll wash our hands. Yes. And then you guys should get some water to hydrate. And... <laughs> People happy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Someone should make an emote of people happies, like in a circle holding hands, and then like, yeah, the pee pee emote. Pee pees. They all pee their pants, but they're holding hands, and they're happy. Not, not mad, like that. I want that to be an emote. People happies in a circle holding hands, peeing their pants. That's what, the, that's the emote that I want to be displayed when I go pee. <laughs> Okay, I will be back. I'm going to go use the restroom and get a glass of water because I do need to hydrate indeed because I've only been drinking uh, Prosecco since like noon and it's 2 p.m. And I'm feeling it. So have fun walking your dog. I'm going to go do that and get some stuff. And then we need to think about what I want for dinner. They all pee their pants, but they hold each other's hands. Yeah. Yeah. That's wholesome, right? Okay. I'll be your bee. Uh, I'm gonna run some ads. <clears throat> so that Twitch doesn't run ads without my permission. So if you see some ads right now, don't worry. You're not missing anything because I'm actually AFK peeing and getting water as you should be too and also stretching your legs because stretching your legs is healthy when you're sitting at a desk all day okay BRB. thank you mike thank you okay brb
sticky breath. I went to go pick her up and she went Meow! And I could smell her stinky kitty breath. She's just a little kitty. She's so soft. And she's purring. She purrs, but very, very quietly. You can't hear it with the naked ear unless you put your ear up to her body. No one can hear her purrs. start her career she has a human to support i know when when are you gonna get a job you owe me we did the math you owe me like 420 dollars that's your rent for this entire year when are you gonna pay up hi exordiums hi rain hello hello thank you ringtail Hi, Minty. She's so cute. so much and I don't want to let you go.
getting up there. <laughs> She's so furry. Now I have fur all over my face. And then my mouth. And I haven't trimmed her claws in a while. So she has kind of sharp claws. So when she put her claws into my shoulder, I definitely felt it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get it off my chin. It's always white fur too, so it blends in. Fur face, I have a beard. Bye, Ace. Have fun doing the things that you have to do. She has a beard? Yeah, fur beard, it's white. Okay, um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, dinner, we need to figure out what I want for dinner. I don't even know if I wanna go out to eat. Will you play Breath of the Wild? Do you mean Tears of the Kingdom? No. But Jeff is. Jeff is playing it. I also said I was gonna get water. Breath of the Wild? Oh, yeah, no, probably not. Sorry. It's too much. It's way too much stuff. I mean, I'll play it like once a year, <laughs> but I don't know. Jeff, we never, never, we never went to Melting Pot. Maybe your mom wants to do a birthday dinner, did you ask? Were you here when I had the call? I called my stepdad. And he said to message my mom. For, uh, to pick me up after work. Her work. She gets off work at like 4 or 5, he said. <laughs> but I need to figure out what I want for dinner first. I feel like every time I visit, our list of things to do only grows. I know, which is kind of crazy because it's just little old Boise. There's really not much to do, but then we make a list of things that we need to do, but then we never do the full list of things that we need to do. It is kind of crazy. Steak. I don't feel like steak. I'm looking at restaurants near me. But meh. No. I don't really love Mexican food that much. Mexican food is okay. Margaritas are good. But Mexican food itself is just meh. I like pico de gallo, chips, salsa, and the rice. 
But everything else is just kind of spicy. I don't love spicy. I do love Italian food. The only notable Italian place nearby is is uh, called Alla Vita. It's in downtown Boise, but it's uh, reservation only. So they definitely would not be able to get us in tonight. Olive Garden is pretty good, yeah. Mongolian barbecue. That is also yummy. I don't know. I don't know what I want. The first thing that comes to mind is tofu. I want tofu. It sounds delicious, like a good crispy tofu. But then I don't want to succumb everybody to tofu. Yeah, the ramen house. <laughs> Are you weird champing my tofu? Fuck. I don't know. JN, thank you. Happy birthday. Appreciate it. Um, worse than paneer? What even is paneer? Think I'm gonna start cooking too? <gasps> Is it like dinner time for everybody? It's only 2.15. No, tofu's yummy. I like tofu. But I like tofu. I low-key, when I'm thinking tofu, I am craving the crispy tofu that we had at the ramen house for Jaden's birthday. But that's literally all I want. I don't want ramen. I just want the crispy tofu there. Thanks, BG. Thank you, thank you. My internet has been acting up all day. I'm sorry, Aritos. I don't know what I want. Also, I need to get water. Breakfast for dinner is always yummy. Hi, Pip. Men that won't disappoint you is wrong. What? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Kima, hello? What the heck is that? Ramen. Men that won't disappoint you. Raw. What's raw? Ouch. Paneer is tofu? I'm confused. That just looks like raw tofu. gown Lord of the Rings forest fairy vibes 
Paneer is made from milk, tofu is made from soy. Ew. I would prefer tofu. Milk is yucky. <laughs> would you rather go without showers or baths for a month or the internet? Showers or baths? I could just use wipes. Did. Sorry, I don't like milk. Milk is yucky and stinky and white and thick. <laughs> stinky! Yeah. You stink. Sometimes, not today though. the description for something else? I don't know, is it? Hi, Jack. Chat! What do I want for dinner? I don't know what I want for dinner. It's so hard to choose. A stupid name for my sniffer on Minecraft. What's your sniffer? Is that the new animal? Snooky. <laughs> Pick two things, then flip a coin. You will know your true desire. Yeah, but I don't even know what two things. Give us a poll. But I don't know what to put in the poll. That's the thing. Melting pot is a decent shout, yeah. Cheese does sound good. Just dipping shit in cheese? What could get better? But I also just really want tofu. Like some nice crispy tofu. But I don't know the best place to go for just tofu. Do it. I also kind of feel like Melting Pot is stereotypically a date night place. So if I propose that I want to go to Melting Pot for a family dinner, they're going to be like, Really? You want to all share a boiling cup of cheese together as a family? Moob? <laughs> Let's look at the menu for Melting Pot. their website. There we go. That's probably going to have a better menu. View menu. What's a la carte? See, <clears throat> this is definitely meant to be like a couple's thing because it says like small size serves up to two.
Impeccable French? How are you supposed to say it? Dude, it's so cringe seeing my own username in chat participating. Like, stop. you did but not the A at the end, a la carte? You just say cart? Like shopping cart? That's it? That's so lame. But that's what I said, a la carte. <laughs> so a la carte. run with it <laughs> I don't know I don't think this is a good family dinner melting pot is not I don't like sharing a boiling pot of cheese with Cameron no, that's not the vibe sorry Cameron <laughs> ew 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 <laughs> Two pillow honey. <laughs> this is true. Cameron does not wash their hands. This is true. I just want tofu. Crispy tofu. That's literally all I want. <laughs> I don't know what else to get. I don't know, like, how to make a restaurant out of that. <sighs> Go to the warehouse. A ramen place? Well, yeah, the crispy tofu is at a ramen place, but I don't really want ramen. I just want the crispy tofu. Ramen is definitely like a cold weather food, but I just want crispy tofu. I don't know if sushi places have that. is definitely good and yummy but it doesn't have crispy tofu P.F. Chang's when I do search tofu near me P.F. Chang's is the very first thing that pops up I've never been to P.F. Chang's but I've actually I've only ever heard that it's like Americanized Chinese food Katana, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the birthday wishes. My weekend was very low key. I uh, just worked on game development work and cleaned. That's about it. No, I don't want to book a reservation. I want to see your menu. 
risers. I feel like P.F. Chang's might be a little awkward because P.F. Chang's is where my stepdad proposed to my mom. So if I'm like, I want to go to P.F. Chang's for my birthday, that just has that connection. So I don't know. Crispy silken tofu, sweet spicy red chili sauce. Ew. Buddhist feast. Five spiced tofu, savory white sauce, garlic, green beans, mushrooms, cabbage, broccoli, carrots. That sounds yummy, but what is what is that? Like literally just sauteed in a sauce? Chicken pad thai. Rice noodles, Thai spices, tofu, green onion, peanuts. That looks yummy. That has noodles. It would be a hint to Jeff if he was there. Y'all are so... You're really pressuring him, aren't you? Rich and tangy broth, silk and tofu, chicken, bamboo shoots, egg. Mmm, that's a soup. I don't want a soup. Sounds really good, but no soup. It's hot. It's too hot for soup. a $10,000 ring, it's game over. Mm, soup being ignored again. Thanks, plasticity! Thank you, thank you. Who proposes at P.F. Chang's? My stepdad, apparently. She would have to buy the ring wrong. What does that mean? Do I see Patty's new reel on Instagram? The turkey bacon one or the one about the ring? I did. I do feel like Patty has a very traditional view on the way a woman should live. Not that that's like bad, but I just, I want to be a CEO. I don't want to be taking care of freaking kids, ew. I want to be bringing home the bacon. <laughs> the one about the ring. Yeah, the one about the ring was funny. It's okay, we can't all get what we want. Are you saying I can't become a CEO? You gotta take care of all of us. I would love it if I could. <laughs> yeah, I want to be the man of the house. You can't be a mom and a CEO. Well, good thing I don't want to be a mom then. <laughs> I did think it was funny though when um, the, the TikTok was like, what do women give in return for the guy buying a $10,000 ring or whatever? And she's like, their womb? And the the old man or whatever was like, I don't know, is that a gift that keeps on giving? And she was like, uh, I'd say it would be. <laughs> She's gonna be a CEO, not a mommy-o. Yep. If you 
you want to be the man there are medical procedures to do that i don't want to be a man i want to be the man reference to taylor swift song anybody You guys are all disappointments. <laughs> Alchemist Plant Pub. Oh god. They have house pickles. Bro, I am torn. I do not know what I want. What do I want? Chat. I don't know what I want. Sushi is okay, but I don't- Sushi is like $80,000 per person, so I feel bad. And if I go... Control F tofu. Tofu bento? Zen salad. Fresh cabbage, rice, sesame seeds, and our own ginger soy dressing. Topped with yummy chicken or in place of chicken, you may choose from any of the following items. Veggie, tofu, beef, salmon, or ahi. Hi, coffee. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Who likes tofu? I like tofu, but I want particularly crispy tofu. I don't just want like raw tofu chopped up. I want crispy tofu. This literally is just like raw veggies and raw tofu in a bowl. Like, I don't want that. another follow thank you i've never had tofu what does it taste like tofu tastes like whatever you want it to taste like if you season tofu with salt and pepper it's gonna taste like salt and pepper if you season tofu with soy sauce it's gonna taste like soy sauce if you season tofu with nothing it's gonna taste like nothing tofu is whatever you season it Okay, another glass of Prosecco and a glass of water because water is good for you. Hey, are you licking yourself? No licking. No licking. No. You don't lick here. Makes you throw up. No. I 
feel like I'm talking to Apollo, the parrot, but I'm talking to my cat. Oi, no licking. Oi, no chewing. You know? No licking. I definitely need to hydrate more before I have a bunch more Prosecco. Hi, Kiwi. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I just spilled water down my shirt. What's been the best part of your day so far? Um, 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 I wanna say the highlight of my day was opening gifts from Jeff. I got this very beautiful crystal that I like a lot. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Does that crystal help you time travel? No, it does not help me time travel, but it helps with, can you show the crystal like more than I did? It helps with uh, the flow of creativity and it helps get you out of a stagnant place. Crayosolite. Crayo. Break. What was it called again? <laughs> Prayosolite or something. Pray. Praise your light. Praise your light. That's what it is. <laughs> Why are you dot dot dotting me, Artos? I like crystals, okay? They're cool. Beautiful. You can't deny that this is not beautiful. <clears throat> it just looks so cool. Starcourt, you're so silly. You're so silly. Silly, silly Starcourt.
Sorry, I'm still looking at... Yeah, I'm still looking at food options. I'm still depending on like, should I just... Depending? I'm still debating. Oh my god. Should I just ask Dawn to make crispy tofu? Woody Gutters! Thank you so much! Thank you for the 54 month resub. I appreciate you, thank you! <laughs> Yuletide, are you trying to start a war? Chick-fil-A is definitely closed on Sundays. Thank you, Parisa. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, my bad. I don't have one near me. You don't? <gasps> Does that mean you've never tried Chick-fil-A? It's very yummy. Lots of chimkin. And I'm actually not a huge fan of chimkin overall, but Chick-fil-A has very yummy chimkin. They brine their chimkin and pickle juice, which makes it very yummy. You used to live in Twin Falls? Hey, yo, let's go. Yo, Wood and Hood. Wood and Hood are here. Guys, I miss raiding. I miss raiding with y'all. It is my birthday. It is, it is, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm leaning towards Dharma. Dharma Sushi. I've always heard good things about this place. And they, they have a lot of tofu options. But it's also, sh also sushi. Zaratrix, thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 26 months of support. Thank you, thank you. You're so kind. Thank you. They also have a cucumber salad, which looks so good. Tofu may be only support in Chinatown. What? What's unagi? Mm. Avocado? Mm. Carrots, cabbage, scallion, sesame seeds, soy sauce, jasmine rice, lettuce, and fried tofu. <gasps> that speaks to my soul right now. Thank you, Jihan. Thank you, Seabag. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna message my mom and say that I've chosen Tharma.
then I'll message my stepdad. Your birthday was last Friday? Happy belated birthday. What did you end up doing for your birthday? Not gonna lie, this, uh, this low-key... Lo-fi music is getting me sleepy. I have no idea what playlist this is, but it says K-pop jams party playlist. It doesn't have any timestamps of what anything is. We don't want this. We want timestamps. Just a K-pop playlist for a good mood. That's what this one says. I hang out with my military buddies and just went with the flow. I just like to have a good time with people around me. That is a very smart thing to do, yes. Congrats on uh, turning a year older. I hope your birthday was good. Okay, chat, what do we do now? Now that I have finally decided on food, I'm very sorry. Like a criminal undercover. <laughs> Another man filter? You. This one does a terrible job. This filter does a terrible job at making me look cute. I look like a balding Asian. That is not a cute man. <laughs> Dude, all of the females look the same. Like when you use the female filter, you look just like I did using the female filter. It's really weird. Do you guys remember Pizza Guy? When I told you about Pizza Guy? Every single time. I really hope he's not watching this or will ever see this. Every single time I post a picture of myself on my Snapchat story, he responds with, you look so good, I miss you. <laughs> Every single time. He's high like 90% of his life. <gasps> Medashiers is making poster and source. Yummy. You text the Snapchat AI. Pizza guy, not AI. At the top of your feed. Yeah, I, I mean, I've texted them before. How do you not know? I thought you mistook what I said for 
Snapchat AI. I think the makeup is confusing the filter. It needs to change your eyes. Oh, the dude filter. Make the best of it. Enjoy every second of it. Thanks. You that phone. What's my phone? I have a pixel. Thank you very much. You were deciding this whole time. Yeah, I was deciding on food this whole time. Don't roast the pixel. Exactly. It is an amazing phone. I cannot believe it's only 255. It feels like 555. Till dinner. I don't know. Probably not until like 5-ish p.m. 6 p.m. Thanks, Yas. What do we do until then? What shall we do? Every single song is like a different volume on this playlist. Oh yeah, we were gonna play Would You Rather. Okay, chat. Would you rather? I miss when I streamed during COVID too. I was literally just talking about that this morning with my siblings. How even though I lived with my grandma and got scolded for any sort of smell I emitted into the air, I at least had a stable streaming income. I miss it. Anyway. Um... Would you rather have a stable nine to five job or be self-employed? <laughs> nine to five, easy, stable job. I feel like this is, is speaking to my, literally what we just talked about, being a self-employed streamer or having a stable nine to five. Which is really hard because I like both, obviously. Nine to five is stable financialness. Self employed is just fun. But alas, this world runs on money, so must choose nine to five. I've never worked at a stable. Horses scare me. <laughs> Would you rather have lots of money or a fulfilling career? Would you, like, would you rather be born rich or have a... I guess I don't really understand the question. I work at one of the best paying businesses in this whole area, so I'll take the job. Crystal working is magic already. <laughs> hmm... I will say pie cut. I don't understand what you said because it's in a different language. Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot read your message. Money so I can afford my insurance and stuff instead of fighting my insurance to pay for it. Honestly, I feel like right now in my life, I would take either of these. 
Right now, I would say I don't have a fulfilling career. But fulfilling... It's really left up to your own interpretation, isn't it? Fulfilling can be what makes you happy, or it can be fulfilling as in like you feel successful and you're making the money that you would like to make in a fulfilling career, which in turn would also make you have lots of money. So... I think either of these right now because I have neither. <laughs> This is a tough one. If the fulfilling career is something that helps other people and I still have enough to pay my bills, then I'd choose fulfilling career. I think with lots of money, I would choose to spend that money working towards a fulfilling career. Like I would use it to stabilize myself so that I can stop working and fully commit to trying to get a job into game in game development. Um, I wouldn't just not want to work. But yeah, a fulfilling career to me would also be making money. <gasps> would you rather have a big house or a cozy apartment? Get you Guess you can't guess what my answer would be. I know what all y'all's answer would be. I'd rather own my place. Well, yeah. Would you rather own a cozy apartment or a giant house? I want a cozy apartment. <gasps> would you rather travel the world or stay in one place? Obviously, I would rather travel the world. I'm already in one place. You hate traveling? You don't want to experience the culture of the world? When are you going to India? When I have money to take me there. Should buy a camper van? No, I don't want to I don't want to like travel like that. I want to travel on like like, I want to have an apartment somewhere in a city, but I also want to have the excess money to be able to travel to wherever, whenever, you know? I don't, I don't want to travel like road tripping travel. I want to travel like flying to different countries travel. Would you rather have a big wedding or a small intimate ceremony? <laughs> <clears throat> Initially, I want to say big wedding. But my definition of a big wedding would be to stream it on Twitch so that everyone could see. So like, that would still kind of be small intimate ceremony, but then you would just be streaming it to the world. Yeah, weddings are expensive, so I would want smaller so that I could spend more where it counts. But then when I think about, like, inviting everyone that I would want to invite, I could just stream it and it would be fine. Yeah, I definitely don't want just a courthouse wedding. I want some sort of celebration. Like, public celebration. I don't want it to just be, like, sign a paper and we're married. That's lame. It's very lame. <laughs> <clears throat> VR chat wedding. No, no, not VR chat. But also... I don't know. Lately, I've kind of been thinking... Maybe I don't even want a wedding. I at least want to be engaged. But I actually am kind of going back on wanting to get married. Maybe. It is just really a money sink, isn't it? And then when you're officially married to another person, your whole entire, at least in America, I don't know how it is elsewhere, but your whole entire tax situation changes and you have to pay more in taxes. And you kind of get fucked over for being married. Like, why, why would you do that then? 
just be engaged and be stuck in like the happy honeymoon phase and not throw away a bunch of money to to have a giant ceremony and pay more in taxes to be married officially like that just seems so lame <clears throat> Do you, Kit, take this man to be your husband? OMG, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. No, if I were to stream my wedding, it would be like... I wouldn't be interacting with chat. <laughs> it would just be like a live stream of the wedding, and I would not be anywhere near chat. Sorry. Mmm. -hmm. Would you rather have lots of friends or a few close friends? I don't have either, so... I don't know. I don't know what it's like to have either of them. Would you rather be married or have a live-in partner? <laughs> I kind of just answered this. I don't know if I care anymore. Would you rather have children or no children? You already know my answer. Would you rather live in the city or the country? You already know my answer. <laughs> Would you rather have a well-paying job with long hours or a less paying job with more free time? I have a less paying job with more free time. I think I would rather have a well-paying job with long hours. Because if you, if you love your job enough to give it the long hours that would be worth it and i think that's what game development would be anyway it would be like a 10-hour workday <laughs> would you rather have a job you love or a job you're good at I think if I'm good at my job, I'm going to love it because I'm good at it. Although I would say I'm good at my current job, but I don't necessarily love it. But the reason that I don't love it is because it's not sustainable long term. Would you rather live near your family or far away from them? I don't purposefully want to live far away from them, but I also don't want to live in Idaho. So, I don't know how to answer that question. Would you rather have a job with a lot of responsibility or a job with less responsibility? I want a job with the most responsibility. Would you rather have a job where you can be creative or a job where you have to be analytical? Creative! Would you rather have a job where you can work independently or a job where you can work as part of a team? Either. I love both. Would you rather work in an office or from home? Honestly, an office. I value my free time so much. I mean, I value free time too, but I can't help but think like right now, the way that I'm spending my free time is not paying my bills and that sucks. Would you rather work for a large corporation or a small company? I thought I wanted to work for a small company, but I've recently learned that a small company is just not financially sustainable long term. So I would rather work for a large corporation. Would you rather work in a high stress or low stress environment? Cheers. Honestly, high stress. It's the only way I'm going to get shit done. If it's a low stress environment, I'm going to procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate. A big gulps. I took two small sips. That equals one big gulp. Would you rather have an hour more sleep every night or an hour more free time every day? It depends. Is my free time sleepy because I didn't get enough free time or I didn't get enough sleep? 
if it's sleepy free time, then no, because I would just want to nap for my free time. But if it's an hour of free time where I can do anything and I'm like motivated and can fully focus, then absolutely free time. I feel like this question was already asked. Would you rather have a job with a low salary that you love or a job that with a high salary that you hate? This is hard. This is hard because I do want to love my job, but I also obviously want to make a decent living. And maybe I don't have the experience, which is why I'm answering it this way. But I think I would choose a job that I hate with a high salary. I feel like that's what, like, if you do something that you love so much to make it a job, you almost always end up hating it in the long run anyway, because it is a job. So I don't know. How about would you go on a sub? Like, would I go on the sub that imploded? No. The second that I heard that it was uh, operated by a game controller, I would have said no. <laughs> would you rather live in a house with no internet or a house with no heat slash AC? I already live in a house using no heat or AC, so <laughs> I would choose no heat or AC. <laughs> Americans depend way too much on air conditioning. I don't give a shit about air conditioning, if I'm honest. I can live without it. Heat would be a little bit more difficult for me because I am so cold all the time. But blankets, hot tea, heat pad. I can do no heat, I think, as well. Yeah, and heated blankets. Would you live in Alaska? Sure. Honestly, I'm open to living anywhere as long as the job pays well. My one wheel? But I'm lazy. What is a one wheel? Like a unicycle? Once you have AC, you can't go back. You say that, but I have AC right now and I have yet to use it in my apartment. I don't care about it. I'm honestly verging on the side of cold right now and it is 79 degrees in my apartment it's because i'm sitting and relaxing and drinking a nice cold drink that i'm verging on cold too cold right now <laughs> you guys are always shocked i don't use ac i don't <laughs> supposed to be 104 on friday so i don't think i could last with no ac see americans they're so attached to their ac i don't care i don't care about ac it is why i'm stinky yeah would you rather have a job that requires a lot of travel or a job with a fixed location i like both i love traveling I do feel like if I had to fly to a new country every morning that it would get old very quickly and I would begin to hate planes. But I think I like the spontaneity of traveling to a different country every day over going to the same location every single day. So I think I would choose travel. I would learn to work on a plane and take that opportunity to saying American like she ain't. I am American, but I'm just saying, as an American, Americans rely way too much on air conditioning. And she sleeps with a duvet in summer. It's cozy. I like the weight of a duvet. But I will say last night I slept on top of the covers. Because it was hot. But I always wake up in the middle of the night too cold, and then I get under the covers. Huh? 
This is the same exact would you rather question we already answered, but like flip flopped. The question 16 is, would you rather work in an office or from home? And question 23 is, would you rather work from home or in an office? Am I supposed to change my answer? Would you rather be your own boss or work for someone else? I want to be the boss. But I want to be the boss under certain circumstances. I want to be the boss if there's pressure from the entire company to do well. As a streamer, technically, I was my own boss. But I didn't have the, the self-discipline to stick to the schedule that I created long term. But if there's pressure from an entire corporation to be the boss, then yes, I think I would do well. Would you rather have a job with flexible hours or a job with a set schedule? Definitely a set schedule. I definitely want to end up being like a schedule girl. Would you rather be assistant regional manager or assistant to the regional manager? <laughs> huh? Would you rather be self-employed or work for a company? You literally just asked this, but in different words. Would you rather be a freelancer or have a full-time job? Full-time. Full Would you rather have a physically demanding job or a job that challenges you mentally? Mentally challenged, for sure. Would you rather have a job in a big city or a small town? Big city. Would you rather work in a creative field or technical field? Creative, but also technical? That's a conflicting question. Because what I want is creative and technical. Would you rather work in a team or independently? Either, but if I absolutely had to choose? I initially want to say independently, but would I hold myself accountable if I worked in a team? I would feel pressured by others to do the best that I absolutely can do. Would you rather live in the US or Europe? I'm open to both. It depends on where in Europe. I'm much more picky when it comes to your like European cities than I am US cities. US, I don't have to worry about like culture shock, language barrier. If it's a big US city, I'm fine. I'm chilling. But if it's a European city, I do have to worry about language barrier. An English speaking part of Europe. Yeah. I I don't care. Yeah. Um, would you rather work in a corporation or a startup? A corporation. Well, if it comes to like what I'm doing currently, I would say that it's considered a startup and it's very hectic and obviously extremely low paying. So in that sense, I would want to work for a corporation. But when it comes to like game development specifically, I am very opening, opening? I'm very open to working for a large corporation, but also like an indie game developer, which would be a startup. So I don't know. Would you rather have a job that requires a lot of overtime or one with regular hours? I think anyone would pick regular hours. Why would you choose overtime on purpose? <laughs> I mean, paid overtime, yeah, that's legal, but like, like you, you'd have, like legality reasons you would have to be paid for overtime, but. Hi, Nikki Taylor. Would you rather answer questions or just inhale and exhale dramatically? Like hyperventilate? If overtime has a higher rate. I mean, yeah, if you're consistently working overtime and it's like hourly paid overtime, then yes. But if you're working overtime, but you're still only getting salary pay, then no. But also it depends on the task. Like right now, working overtime. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mentioned wanting to try Dharma, and Dawn says, We've gone there. It was okay. Super smoky. They fry a lot of stuff. Um, anyway. Thanks, Super Grizzy! If it's a startup, equity options are probably in the mix, to be fair. What's equity options? Anyway, as I was saying, working overtime for the job that I currently have is extremely mundane and annoying. And I don't like it. It gets old very fast because you are doing the simplest of tasks every day, multiple times a day. And I hate it. But if it's like overtime hours, but you're doing like more advanced, mentally challenging things, then maybe? I don't know. My mom messaged back too. It's like they both messaged at the same time. Hmm. That's suspicious. It is suspicious. My job is super mundane and I definitely want to start looking. Yeah, see? I resonate with that. I resonate with that so hard. <laughs> Thanks, Super Grizzy. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you. Stock in the company? Mm. Yeah, I don't think any startup I know of offers that. Uh, huh? Okay. Would you rather have a job with a lot of customer interaction or a job with minimal interaction? This is going to be hypocritical because I literally work in customer service, but a job with minimal interaction. I am so over customer service. I'm sorry. I really am. I hate being forced to be nice. Would you rather work in a fast-paced environment or a slower-paced one? I don't care. I think a fast-paced environment would s help support my, like... What's the word? It would help... Sim stimulate my... Potential ADHD more. And I would feel more fulfilled in the long run. But I could vibe with a slower paced environment too. Can we get some weird and interesting would you rather questions that aren't job related? I clicked on the adult section and this is what the adult section is. Let me scroll down. Nope. Now we're on would you rather for students. How about, would you rather questions about friends and social relationships? I need more adult questions. Eh, I don't like these questions either. <gasps> questions about personal growth and development? 
Would you rather focus on improving your physical health or improving your mental health? It's actually a hard one because I really want to improve both. But I think right now, specifically in this point in my life, mental health. Huh? Aratos, what? <laughs> Would you rather work on a building on- Oh my gosh. Would you rather work on building your confidence or your resilience? Yeah, you guys can ask would you rather questions too, by the way. I'm only reading from this list because it's just here. If it was in chat, I would read it. I think I would rather work on my confidence too. If I'm confident, then I wouldn't have to work on my resilience, right? Because I wouldn't have to bounce back from anything because I'm too confident for that shit. You know what I'm saying? If you could have anything at all for your birthday, what would you have and why? <laughs> this is gonna sound materialistic, but the graphics tablet that's in my throne wish list. I really want to be able to like go to the park and draw and work on my game development stuff. Being stuck at my computer in my hot, sweaty apartment. I mean, not that it would be much cooler outside, but I just want... I just want some more excitement and like something to just keep it fresh and interesting, you know? I want a portable graphics tablet so that I can draw on the go wherever I am. I can draw in a cafe. I can draw at the park. I can draw on my couch. I can draw on my bed. I can draw on my balcony in my little swing. That would be so comfy. So yeah. My grandma did uh, say that she was going to write me a check for $200 towards the graphics tablet, so that is very kind of her. But I don't, I, it's going to need to like, it's an expensive graphics tablet. I'm going to need to save up for a while. But I did end up doing research. I think last time I streamed, we were talking about um, what the, like, like what graphics tablet I would want. And I, I knew at that time that I wanted something mobile, something that I could take with me wherever I go, something that's like a computer unit in its own. Um, but those are obviously, they come with the, the price. Um, but yeah, I settled on that one. That one is actually the cheapest in the market right now, but it is also everything that I want. The only thing that it lacks in are like speaker quality, camera quality, which I don't, Oh my god, I almost spilled my wine. Which, I don't care about. I don't need speaker quality and camera quality if I'm going to be drawing on it. So that doesn't matter to me. Thank you, Pinja. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Would you rather work at a circus and throw knives around a human target, or would you rather evict families out of their homes? A circus? But only if I were good at throwing knives at a human and missing. What? Starcourt? Huh? Would I get caught in the backyard? <laughs> Would I be able to bring toilet paper with me out in the backyard? Honestly, I'd probably just hold it until I got back home. Animal Crossing or Sims! For the rest of my life, if I could only choose one? Probably, it, like, immediate answer would be Sims because they're constantly updating it and there's always new content coming out. But Animal Crossing has kind of hit a stagnant point, you know? Even though I love Animal Crossing and I always will. I did look into an iPad Artos, but iPad can't... The reason why I want a mobile graphics tablet is because I can then also run my 3D programs. Like I need to be able to flop between 3D Coat and Photoshop, for example, to see my 
texture on my 3D model in real time. On an iPad, I can't do that. It's just 2D art. I do 3D art, not 2D art. So an iPad wouldn't be the best fit for me. But I did look into that initially. If an iPad could run 3D programs, sure. Would you rather be born without knees or without elbows? But like, would my elbows or like would my arms or my legs be extra long? Like it would just be one long thing? I think I would choose without knees. Sure, I'd walk funky, but then I could still pick up things like normal. Like if I didn't have knees, I would just march everywhere. But if I didn't have elbows, I'd have to, like, reach for things like this. Hi, kitty! I pet you. <laughs> yeah, I would choose without knees, for sure. Yeah. Holiday at the beach or in the mountains? Beach. Let's go to the beach. Each. Let's go get away. Cause it's gonna be warm and sunny and nice. Are you a Nintendo fan? I am. They are releasing a Sims-like game where you can play as an avatar, play an a, a avatar, and travel through worlds or interact with other people around the world. Are you talking about the Super Mario RPG? <laughs> An extra long fork. Yeah, that, that would be really weird. Trying to feed your mouth. I Yeah, you couldn't. They had to get Splatoon 3 out the door. That is very interesting, Aratos. I actually didn't know that. Shark Tale or Finding Nemo? I've actually never seen Shark Tale, so I'd have to go with Finding Nemo. Would you rather have spaghetti for hair or sweat mayonnaise? And throw up every time I sweat? Honestly, I would choose spaghetti for hair, as long as it's cooked spaghetti, because it would already be way more luscious than the hair I have now. I wouldn't have to dye it blonde ever again. It would just be naturally blonde. All right, next question. Keep them coming. And if you get hungry, it's right there. No, I wouldn't eat my hair. I would want it to grow long, long and luscious, thick and beautiful. My mom says the sushi place that I want to go to is good. Dawn said it's smoky. Ooh. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate it. Would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? This is really hard, actually. You'd think I would choose a werewolf because I love wolfies. They're so soft. But I think I would rather have, like, a werewolf significant other and me be a vampire because vampires just look badass. And they are badass. Whereas werewolves, like, they're hairy, you know? They're cute, but they're hairy. Would I want to be hairy and turn into a werewolf? A female werewolf? I think male werewolves are badass, but female werewolves are kind of meh. Whereas a female vampire is badass. So I think I would rather, personally, if it were me, be a vampire. But I do like werewolves better. If that makes sense. You should do this. Will you press the button? Will you press the button? You no longer need to sleep, but you now breathe manually and forgetting to breathe yields the same effects holding your breath would. Wait, what? Hmm? 
Oh my god, there's so many ads on the side. Go away, ads. No one likes you. Okay, you... This is like, would you rather, but... Pay attention more. What? Would you rather own 25 kittens in your apartment until they die, or would you rather go 25 days in jail? What? I love kittens. But in my apartment, I would have no room to walk. I would probably still choose the kittens. Would you rather be bitten by, by a vampire or a werewolf? Still a vampire. Werewolf bites would like eat you alive, whereas a vampire would just be like a little prick, you know? Would you use pasta sauce to dye it different colors? I don't know, would you? Would you rather sing everything you say or dance every time you walk? Sing everything I say! Turn others into vampires. That would be a pretty cool power to have, yeah. You get to explore the universe and visit other inhabited planets, but you can never return to Earth. Eh? That would be so lonely. Would you rather go back in time to a place of your choice or go to a random time and place in the future? Random time and place in the future. It can only get better from here, right? I don't particularly have an interest in the past we've i'm personally interested in technology and like how we can advance and make the the world a better place to live for us but also more sustainable for the earth itself so i think the future is only going to get better we're only going to learn from our humanistic mistakes but if we go back in time we have, like, smoking in restaurants. Dehumanization of women. All that shit. I don't want that. <laughs> Would you rather get a face tattoo of something of your choosing or a tattoo in a discreet area chosen by someone else? Can the face tattoo be, like, here? <laughs> can the tattoo literally just be a dot? I'll get a tattoo of a mole. Wait, can I get a face tattoo of, like, my eyebrows? Or, like, eyeliner? I would choose a face tattoo of my choosing. Yep, 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 yep. Because I would actually choose to tattoo eyeliner on so that I would never have to draw this freaking cat eye ever again. I want to say my cat eye today turned out pretty good. It's pretty even. I actually don't know the state of it now because I've been like sweating all day. But I want to say it turned out pretty even today and like the appropriate thickness and the perfect straightness. So if I could just get that tattooed on me and never have to worry about doing it ever again, that would be pretty great. <laughs> A hairline tattoo. Would you rather have to hunt for everything you eat or eat only McDonald's for every meal? <gasps> I would get so fat. McDonald's has salads, right? Yeah, I'd do McDonald's. Telekinesis. The ability to move things with your mind. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> or telepathy. The ability to read minds. The ability to move anything with my mind? Like, could I move my entire apartment complex to Hawaii if I wanted to? Can I move myself to Europe? I would choose telekinesis. <laughs> Do 
Would you rather wear hideous glasses that are perfect for your eyesight or flattering ones that make your vision a tiny bit blurry? That's hard. Honestly, I'd probably choose the flattering ones. Glasses are such a giant depiction of your image. Like, if you wear hideous glasses... Like, it, it's hard to be hot with hideous glasses, you know? Glasses are such a huge depiction of your image. They really are. Stand on a skateboard and move it with your mind. What? Are you saying tennis can't perform brain surgery, Aratos? That's rude. <laughs> Would you rather have to keep a terrible haircut for a month or let your mother dress you for a month? Let my mom dress me, for sure. I value my hair way too much. To me, this is a terrible haircut. I do not love my haircut. It's just so short. So to have an even worse haircut, like a haircut that everyone would think was terrible, that would be so bad. Okay, wait, wait, let's go back to this question. Now that I understand, you will no longer need to sleep. But, in order to no longer be able to sleep, you need to now breathe manually, and forgetting to breathe yields the same effects as holding your breath would. I think I would take this, because sleep literally takes up half of your life, and you would get used to breathing manually. You would find it second nature. <clears throat> So yeah. I I would I would take that deal for sure. It says only 29% took this deal. Apparently people love sleep. Uh did you know being a mouth breather changes the shape of your face? How so? Would you rather get a paper cut every time you turn a page or bite your tongue every time you eat? <laughs> yeah, probably a paper cut. I don't know how often I tangibly touch paper. But you do eat three times a day, at least. <clears throat> Would you rather your mind remained young or your body? This is gonna sound shallow, but my body. I would rather physically be young forever. I don't care if I have an old mind. At least I'm hot. <laughs> I touch math books all the time. Just get digital math books, Jatata. I feel that. <laughs> I feel like I already have a mind that remains young. Like... I'm literally almost 30 years old. That's three zero. Thirty years of my life has passed, just about. But I feel so young. I don't feel thirty. <laughs> I have a good would you rather, but it is too dirty for stream. Oh, Star Court. Is it like, would you rather it in the vagina or the booty hole? <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Ah! You can stop time, but everything you touch while time is stopped is stamped with your personal information and contact info. Hi, Rufflecopter! <laughs> Well, since you just said that, I guess mine is okay. <laughs> I think I would stop time. Yeah, but I wouldn't I wouldn't touch anything then. Mm -hmm. Someone comments, touch someone's crotch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you rather give the first 99% of a <clears throat> or the last 1%? Do all the hard work or get the in the, you know? That is tough, actually, because no one likes it. Like, no one, no one, you know, just gobbles it up like it's a treat. It's not dessert. But the work, the work it takes to get there. <laughs> Nobody does? I don't think so. To be honest, if I'm completely honest and transparent, this would depend on the man. Um, 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 previously I might have said the, the last 1% because it's just too much work. It's, it's too much work. It's too much effort. I don't want to, I don't want to put in the effort if I'm honest. It's way too much. But, I, you know... Things change. I know some girls you should meet. <laughs> Do you, Chase? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Why did you say it like that? That's the reward. Aratos, have you ever tasted your own ejaculation? Next time, just just take a little little finger dip and put it on the tongue, and then come back and tell me what you think. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not wrong. You need to taste it to understand how terrible it is. <laughs> Insufferable! Thank you for the 30 month resub. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Hello! Fair question. Because <laughs> your streamer said so. <laughs> Thank you, Insufferable. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Would you rather give up wine for a year or drink nothing but wine for a year? Give up wine for a year, for sure. No way I could live without water. I love ice cold water. Dude, yeah, I think you would die if you drank nothing but wine for a year. No way. <gasps> Interstellar Books! That's a very cool name. Thank you so much for giving me your prime. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I'm beginning to think Artos isn't a team player. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the cat pack. Haven't had a new sub in a while. I hope you enjoy your cute little kitty and Bulbasaur emotes. 
That'd be a hell of a year. It really would. Love me some good water. I'm so confused by this, uh, will you press the button question. Insufferable! Thank you for gifting a sub to Proizo! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Would you rather stop playing games for a few months and get a new job in the game dev industry or keep working elsewhere until you land a job while having to play games? To be honest, I'm kind of already doing the first. I could go a few months without playing games if it meant that I was guaranteed a job in the game dev industry that I would appreciate, for sure. I would choose that, no doubt. Your preference is white wine over red. Actually, I used to be a red girly for sure. I think it depends on the time of year. By the time fall hits and it's kind of cool outside, I can appreciate a good red wine. I think I like red sangria over white. But when it comes to a nice chilled glass of like a sparkling rosé... Rosé isn't really considered white because it's kind of pink. But I do love a good rosé on like a, a nice hot picnic day, you know? It depends on the time of year. I like both. But I would maybe say white wine is more overall refreshing and easier to drink than red. Red is definitely like a mood. Like if I'm having a charcuterie board and watching TV shows and cozying up on the couch with a blanket and a candle and it's cold and chilly outside, definitely a glass of red. But if I'm out like having a barbecue, it's nice hot weather, sunset, I'm gonna have a glass of white for sure, chilled white. But I like both. Both is good. Mmm. Jeff is making chimkin. Jeff, can I have some chimkin too? Is that risotto on the side? Or just fancy rice? It looks yummy. I'm getting hungry. Okay. This will you press the button question is, you can have any car you want for free. No problems attached. But... Every time you drive it for a total of one hour, your life gets shorter by one year. And the top comment is, just drive 59 minutes, get out, then get back in and drive for another 59 minutes. But I think what I take from the question is, like, no matter how long you spend driving, if it's with a bunch of breaks in between or if it's a long road trip. Yeah, it's cumulative, exactly. I wouldn't take the deal. I don't really care about cars that much to begin with, so maybe this is a biased question for me. I don't care. I will not. And 83% of people would not either. <gasps> it's couscous. Oh, hi, old folks, huh? Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. It turned out pretty moist and sticky. I don't think it's perfect. Oh, the couscous? I like moist and sticky. Wait, so does this mean that you were cooking when the question, the would you rather question that Starcourt asked came up? <laughs> That's maybe for the better. <laughs> cancer season. Yeah, it do be cancer season though. <laughs> I'm a crab. I was here for quite a few of those, but then my battery got low. What was it? Oh, nothing. Nothing important. Nothing you need to know the answer to. 
<laughs> I'm riding a train or a bike. Exactly. If you live in a place with adequate public transportation, you don't even need to worry about that. Capricornius, <laughs> the sea goat. Would you rather have your phone filled with nudes or not receive any nudes at all? Huh? Like nudes of random people? <laughs> Guess we're checking started chat logs. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> it's okay, he'll still never know my answer, right? <laughs> Um, I would say n n no nudes at all, but I'm also kind of a prude. Quick, delete the VOD! <laughs> I don't think you've actually answered it. I didn't want to be too revealing about my personal life, so I said, you know, in the past, I would have answered the, the, the latter, but, like, things change. But I don't want to be too revealing about my personal life. <laughs> I like this song. This is good. La 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 BJ? What's a BJ? What? I know someone named BJ. Did I turn that down way too far and make it awkward? I'm sorry. <laughs> Quick chat, ask another would you rather question. <laughs> beef jerky? I love me some beef jerky. Would you rather receive flowers or a box of chocolate? I don't really like chocolate, so flowers. <laughs> That's an easy one. Put it on speaker. <gasps> Would you rather live forever or be reincarnated after you die? This would have a dependent on if I keep aging forever. Like if I only get wrinklier and saggier as age goes on. Like, do, am I just a pile of like the Pokemon muck eventually? Or can I be like reincarnated as a dog, but still remember everything from my past life? Cause that would be pretty poggers. I would be inclined to choose reincarnation then. We already do the second one. You believe in reincarnation? See, I'm super curious about it. I would love to believe in reincarnation, but yeah, I want to be able to remember my past life. Because then, like, what is reincarnation? If the same soul is reincarnated into something else, how are they the same if they remember nothing of the person that they were before? or the being that they were before. That doesn't really mean reincarnation to me. So I feel like the belief of reincarnation is a little conflicting. That's deep. Yeah, it is. Because if you don't remember anything, then you're just a new person. It's not reincarnation. Molecules don't leave the space necessarily, so lives are already made up of what's here. So you're thinking of it at like a scientific level. We have to operash operationalize reincarnation? I don't know what that word means. What does that word mean? I'm all dumb for science. I am a firm believer in science. I love science. 
Would you rather be unable to close any door once it's open or be unable to open any door once it's closed? Probably close any door, but I'm also thinking in, a, in like a very literal sen sense, like... A lot of doors are self-closing nowadays, aren't they? Like if you go into a restaurant and it's like freaking blizzard outside and you open the door to go into the restaurant, like it should naturally close behind you, right? It's not just gonna remain open and you're gonna be like, oh, uh, mm, yeah, can you get that? <laughs> right? You could never close your apartment door, but my apartment door closes automatically. So, like, this is any door. Any door would never close once it's open. I could probably get by with saying, like, hey, could you close that for me? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, my hands are full. I can't close my door. Can you close it for me? Thanks. Hire a new person to follow you to close your doors. That's a thought. Ghost! Hi! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 25 month resub. Thank you. I appreciate you. Ah! A permanent unibrow or no eyebrows at all? Damn. Well, if I were rich, I would choose no eyebrows at all because then I could just get them tattooed on and they would look flawless every day and I wouldn't have to do them every day. Like, from a makeup standpoint, guys, like, doing your eyebrows every day is a hassle. It takes so long. So if I could just get them tattooed on, like if I, if I could just like get rid of them and just tattoo them on, that'd be great. But that costs like a bunch of months. So a permanent unibrow. You could also tweeze in the middle, which wouldn't be too bad. I don't know. If I were rich, no eyebrows. But if it were like me present day, I would probably choose permanent unibrow because then I could just tweeze it, right? Permanent meaning it would grow back, but like... Right? Or would it just like, you would tweeze it and then you'd be like, oh my God, I tweezed my unibrow and it would go poof and just magically grow back. Cause then I would choose no eyebrows, but draw on my eyebrows every day. Yeah, if that's the case, if that's the case, if it's like a, a freaking Dr. Seuss book where my eyebrows just poof back, then I would choose no eyebrows and I would draw on my eyebrows every day. Wouldn't look as good, but... You know. <laughs> Hi, monkey! Hi, Brick! Hello! Thank you for the birthday wishes! Thank you, thank you! Would you rather eat the spiciest food in the world or the most sour? Most sour for sure. I'm actually curious as to what the most sour food is. Sour is in like candy sour, right? Like warhead sour, not like sour milk. Cause I think, yeah, okay. If, it, if it's like candy sour, then definitely sour. But if it's sour as in like milk, I would choose spicy because I hate the taste of bad milk. <clears throat> Lose all my teeth or lose all my hair? That's such a hard one because I really value both. Again, if I were rich, all my teeth because then I could just get implants and they would look perfect and flawless no matter what. But getting an implant of your hair is way more expensive than implanting your teeth. You could also wear wigs. Yikes, oof. Immediately, uh, like if this were me present day choosing to like sacrifice one right now, I would do hair because I could afford a wig immediately. But 
I could not afford implants for every single one of my teeth immediately. Ah, would you rather drink milk for the rest of your life or marry a bald person? Can I tell the bald person to wear a wig? <laughs> <laughs> no, he has to be bald. Does it have to be a he? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Apolici, thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you. This is Jeff telling you he's losing his hair. Uh, this is Jeff's way of saying he will go bald in the future. I mean, if I already love them, then that's easier to accept them becoming bald. But if it's like I'm forced to marry this ugly, wrinkly, bald person that I don't know anything about, then that's a lot harder. You know what I mean? Um, why do they have to be wrinkly? Because I associate old with bald. Bald equals old, old equals bald. <laughs> I didn't say wrinkly. <laughs> I don't think I can physically get milk down without throwing up. Is milk like the only drink I can ever drink? Like I'm not allowed water? Ever? Because then I would have to choose marry a bald person because I don't think I could physically choke down milk ever. Like I would throw up every time. That would be a miserable life. I would just want to kill myself in game. Spoon! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I would have to choose marry a bald person because I would not be able to live with drinking milk. I just can't. I would throw up. Would you rather marry a bald person? Okay, is this is the trend just gonna be bald people now? <laughs> You're gonna find out how much I actually hate bald people. <laughs> Who never wears a wig or lose all of your hair. <laughs> it's fun to weigh up your icks. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Um, I think I value my own hair too much. See, this is the, this is the bad thing about marriage. Like marriage doesn't equal love and affection. Marriage is just a piece of paper. So I don't have to like physically share my affection with this bald person. I just have to be married to them on a piece of paper. <laughs> what? Would you rather I go bald or call you babe all the time? <laughs> I could live with the babe. <laughs> I could live with the babe. I'll just tune it out eventually. Or take it as a meme. I'll respond back with Baba. Baba. <laughs> uh Shallow What? Babe is so much less, like, disturbing than baldness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Babe! Would you rather drink milk for the rest of your life or have kids? I'm, I'm physically not birthing kids. I just will not. Like, I will get a surgery to make it to where I cannot have kids if that's what it takes. 
I will not have kids. Like if the having kids in your question includes adopting, then I will adopt. But if it includes actually physically birthing kids, I will choose to drink milk and throw up for the rest of my life until I die, I guess. <laughs> These ears on my keyboard are kind of kind of coming off. Same, I'm also not birthing a child. Birthing a child is it's hard work, you know. Would you rather lose your hair or lose the ability to speak? I can learn sign language, right? I think I would rather lose my ability to speak. I guarantee you like 80% of the people on this planet think I'm annoying as fuck anyway, so... What you gonna do at 50 years old if no kids? I'll just be rich by that point in my time, in my life, and I'll just have a butler that wipes my ass. It's fine. I mean, I hope I don't have to, like, ask someone to wipe my ass at 50 years old, but if it came to that, I'll hire someone to do it. <laughs> Anyone in chat volunteer? See? I have an arsenal of people who would love to volunteer to wipe my ass. <laughs> Would you rather be forced to keep a pet tarantula or never be allowed to keep any more plants? Any more plants than I already have? Because I could be content with the plants that I have right now. Or do you just mean like no plants ever? Okay. No plants ever, but I have to keep a pet tarantula in my home. Okay. I would choose the tarantula, but I would tape the fuck out of the glass box that it would stay in. Like, the lid would never be coming off. Ever. You can have a plant so we can keep a tarantula. You have to feed it, though. <laughs> Can tarantulas eat liquid food? Because the top of the box can be mesh, and then I can just like throw some like liquid stuff in there. <laughs> I'd rather go bald or have a kid. Guys, what's with all the bald questions? Oh my god. I would rather go bald. I'm sorry, kids are just a big no for me. They really are. I can never, I, I will. Never birth a kid. I am sorry. I am nearly 30 and I have made this decision and I've always had this decision my entire life. I will never birth a kid. Like I genuinely hope, this is dark maybe, and I'm a little tipsy so I'm gonna say it, but I genuinely hope that I have a condition that's some something's wrong with my lady parts where I can never physically have a kid because I do not want a kid. I do not want to birth a kid ever. That's just the cold hard truth. Thank you, Dale. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. What if the tarantula's life was tied to the plant's life or the plant's life was tied to the tarantula's life? So if I didn't feed the tarantula, my plants would die? Okay, 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 okay. What do tarantulas eat? What? Oh my god. <sighs> Pictures. I have to feed them frogs, small mammals, rodents, baby snakes, and lizards? 
Do they eat anything else? Like bugs? Hello? Normal spiders eat bugs. What the fuck is up with tarantulas? They eat frogs? What? Oh, this article says, as carnivores, tarantulas need live food sources. The easiest food sources to offer are gut-loaded insects, including crickets, mealworms, kingworms, silkworms, dubia roaches, or hornworms. I can feed a, a, a tarantula worms. That's fine. I will not ever condone a tarantula eating a frog, a small rodent, a lizard, a small mammal, I'm sorry, but I love all of those things. I don't even know how to answer that. I can't, I physically cannot live with spiders. I would rather be homeless. I don't know what bed bugs are like because I've never experienced bed, bed bugs. But if it's bed bugs, can't I just like sleep on the floor? This is getting weird. Would you rather be part of a zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion? Immediately, my answer would be alien invasion because I'm optimistic and I think aliens are gonna be good for the universe. I think they can only ever be an improvement upon what the world already is. Whereas a zombie apocalypse is obviously the world going to shit as we've seen in like Walking Dead and zombie games. Oh shit, I pressed enter. <laughs> uh, would you rather birth a kid or marry a dude with 20 kids? Am I marrying... What's his face? Nick Cannon? What? Would you rather Neo run away and never come back or turn into a tarantula? Neo turn into a tarantula? She'd be a fucking giant ass tarantula. Can I let her go if she turns into a tarantula? Either way, I'm letting her go, I guess. Would she still be as loving and affectionate as she is as a tarantula? If if I were to know that it was New's kind kitty soul in the body of a furry fluffy tarantula, I think I could get over that. I don't know if you guys know. But I had a beanie baby tarantula that I actually loved a lot. This boy right here. This boy right here. This, this boy right here, his name was Harry. I actually really loved this tarantula beanie baby. So if Mew could turn into something cute like this, he gonna need some small mammals. No, she'll still eat cat food, because that's what she remembers, right? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> if she turned into a tarantula, though, I would keep her on my balcony. I'm sorry. She would live out there. <laughs> Imagine that thing is shitting on your carpet. How do spiders even poop? What the fuck is this? Ew. Beanie Babies hoax. Spider eggs not hatching through plush toys fabric. Syracuse. Huh?
That's where I am. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be that'd be hard. Thank for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Would you rather give up alcohol or coffee? Alcohol hands down. No questions asked. Coffee is too important to my life. The stream took a turn for the last half hour. This is, this is like, would you rather? We're, we're in it now. Yo, it's 420, hashtag blaze it. <laughs> would you rather be naturally blonde and chunky or brunette and skinny? Brunette and skinny. I can always dye my hair, but losing weight, we all know, is very difficult to do. Would you rather only be able to drink hot coffee or iced coffee? Iced coffee. How are you, Big Dap? What's up? How's it going? Making sure I don't miss any would you rather questions. Scrolling back up. I think I've I think I've asked them all. I answered them all. Oh, except for the birth a kid or marry a dude with 20 kids. I don't think I would ever like I would have to be forced to marry the dude with 20 kids. And I wouldn't be happy. But I, I would also die during childbirth, so... I guess I would choose the 20 kids? I looked up the sourest food in the world and it looks like fruit? <gasps> Ooh. Umiboshi Sour Plum. It looks like a dried testicle. Guava? Guava is sour? Okay, and then Toxic Waste, the candy, is said to be super sour. It's really not that bad. I have some in my pantry. I could go eat it right now. Gooseberry, I've never had. Horseradish pickles? Horseradish is just spicy. Rhubarb? Never had rhubarb plain, but I've had, like, rhubarb in a dessert. Hmm. Would you rather be a world-class world chef and have no taste buds or be able to taste food but not be able to cook? But even though I couldn't... Even though I couldn't taste my food, my food would be, would be like absolutely delicious. Five Michelin stars every time that I made something. Then I'd probably choose chef. Eating is a chore. As a gamer, eating is a chore. Would you rather always have beautiful hair with a hideous face or always have a hideous we always have hideous hair with a beautiful face. Pro 
probably hideous hair. A face is definitely more permanent. And I could wear a wig. This is K-pop? Huh, I didn't know. I've never had raw rhubarb. I don't know. Take 20 million dollars, but you will have an octopus with restless tentacles repl huh? replace your vagina and you have to take care of it. It's just living down there. Wait, what? Where's the would you rather question? Where's the rather part? I can't cook anyways. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Hmm, never play video games or never use your cell phone. I don't know. It would depend on my situation. If I could live with my partner, I would choose no cell phone. But if it were to be me present day right now, I would choose no video games because I'm basically doing that anyway, sadly enough. Or would you rather live your life like you are living now? What? Why would I want an octopus, a restless octopus for a vagina when I could just have a normal vagina like I have now? Would you rather have a personal stylist to do your hair, makeup, clothing every day or a personal chef to make your meals every day? Oh, for $20 million. Oh, I forgot that part. Uh. I would assume a restless octopus as a vagina would be like the grapefruit method. So maybe <laughs> it would do a lot of the work for me. <laughs> right? So maybe I'd take the $20 million. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. I think I'd rather have a personal stylist. I think I value my appearance too much. Would you rather live in Belgium or Idaho? Money is no question. Is this hentai? It could be. Hmm. If money is no option, then Belgium. But if money is an option, then I'd have to choose Idaho because it's it's my my comfort place. I mean, Belgium includes Brussels and Brussels is pretty cool. Plus, Paris or Amsterdam is just like a two hour train ride or whatever from Brussels. So like some people drive two hours into the city in the U.S. for work. That's our least cool city. Okay, well, like, Bruges is full of tourists. I 
I don't know enough about Antwerp. What are they called? Brussels sprouts and Brussels? Brussels sprouts. See, Ghent. Ghent is like, I understand your strong affiliation with Ghent because you grew, like, that's where you discovered that you were an adult. An adult. You grew up there. That was where you went to university. I get that. I get that attachment. I didn't have that to Ghent at all. But I understand, like, having an attachment to your college campus. Like, when I went to college, obviously, that's where I found myself. That's where I became me. That's... I have an attachment to that place, but I do not want to live in that place. That place was a tiny ass town. Nope, 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 nope. Ghent's too small. It's too small and you only care about Ghent because you went to school there and you're friends with the, the guy who owns the fry shop. And your friends still live there. It's just convenient for you. That's the only reason you love it. <gasps> the playlist is done. It's already been an hour and 40 minutes. Ha! Took a trip in 2019 where we drove from Portsmouth, UK to Baston, Belgium. I don't even know where those places are. Would you rather be able to speak any language or talk with animals? Ooh, that is a pretty good one, actually. Immediately, I would want to say talk with animals. But I don't have a job with animals, so I don't know how beneficial that would be long term. That's hard. I could easily get one, I guess, but... I don't know. Hi, 22 capsides. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff is a cyborg? My dad is a cyborg? I find it funny that people still spell boyfriend Jeff with two Fs when his name is right there. Like, right there. It's right there. I only, I only see one F. Your dad is a cyborg. <laughs> um, could be on mobile where it auto cracks. I guess. I guess. Good night, Doom Bunny. Sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um. Um, does that mean that I would be part cyborg if my dad is cyborg? I think it would be kind of cool if my dad were a cyborg. He would be super smart. Hi, Synthetic Mommy. Welcome back. Give up french fries or ice cream for the rest of your life. Does ice cream count sorbet? Ice cream isn't sorbet. Sorbet isn't ice cream. Any frozen dessert? But that's hard. That's too much. But that's too much. 
I like french fries. And I like frozen desserts. Strawberry jam? Real strawberry jam? With no frogs and no bugs smushed in? Hydrate! <gasps> All I have is water. Uh, I think I would maybe have to choose... For health reasons, I would want to choose frozen desserts because frozen desserts is literally just like frozen sugar syrup. Whereas at least french fries are like somewhat beneficial for you health wise, nutritional value wise. Cleaned with apple cider vinegar. Yeah, I want some. I don't like store-bought jam because I've heard that they just smush frogs and bugs into the jam and just like filler here you go some of its fruit yeah I think I would choose to get rid of frozen desserts would I rather give up fruit or veggies that's also really hard because I really love both Taste-wise, I would rather give up veggies, but, like, for longevity of living my life, I would probably choose to give up fruit. <laughs> would you rather be intimate with your brother but nobody knows or not, but everyone thinks you did? Why would they think that I did? What? <laughs> I guess not, but think everyone thinks that I did because as an adult, who cares what other people think, right? Hummus! Thank you very much for sharing your 26 month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Would you rather have all the bad time of your life right now for a year and have a pretty chill and happy life? Or do you like to have the bad time split into pieces and have a meh kind of life? I would rather have all the bad at once. It would suck, but at least it would end. Thanks, Mr. Santos. Would you rather know when you are going to die or how you are going to die? I've heard this question asked before. If I knew how I was going to die, would that help me avoid my death? I don't know, if I knew when, then I could maybe, like, do some crazy shit before then, you know? But if I knew how, and it was like, get run over by a car, that could be literally any day. Yeah, I think if I, if I think I knew how, yeah, like, if it was something simple, like getting hit by a car, then I would be paranoid every day. But if it was something like going skydiving, I could just not go skydiving. Right? I think I would probably choose one as well. Guys, I'm tired. I could take a nap. I don't 
know what wind dinner is. I told my family what I wanted for dinner and then they were just like, okay. <gasps> Would you rather be on the show married at first sight or go back in time every day to the worst moment of your life? Married at first sight! That would be so fun! <laughs> I don't know why I would want to go back to the worst moment of my life every day. Also, I'm like pretty convinced people just go on Married at First Sight now to like get exposure. They don't actually really care about the outcome. So, you know. But Married at First Sight is a lot of fun. I watched the Australian version. How is birthday going? It's been okay. I went to go get uh, Krispy Kreme donuts at the start of the day. And then I, oh, I got my free Starbucks drink and then I streamed. That was kind of it. And we're here still now, five hours and 30 minutes later. I kind of wanted to play a game, but I don't really know what to play. So we've just been sitting here talking, playing Would You Rather. I mean, in a sense, that's a game. I've learned so much from this educational stream today. Would you rather star in a good movie that a few people see or in a bad movie that is popular? Probably a bad movie that's popular. Would you rather know what game you want to play right now or what you want to have for dinner later? I already know what I want to have for dinner later. Are you convinced? Yeah, I'm kind of set on the, the cr crispy fried tofu uh, bowl with like rice and vegetables. That sounds freaking delicious. Ticks all my boxes. Would you rather star in a movie with Chris Hemsworth? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why is the 20 million always in debate? Would you rather have 20 million dollars, but Jeff walks on the ceiling in a creepy way? I would never be able to touch him if he were on the ceiling. He would be all the way up there. Calzones? Mmm, that sounds pretty good. What do you mean, look at your bed? Well, in that case... <laughs> Just kidding! Uh, uh, I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think I could really, like, live normally if he was always on the ceiling. <laughs> Would you rather live in the world of The Sims or Animal Crossing? <gasps> don't mind my ninth leg. What? Where do the other three legs come from? <laughs> what? <laughs> How many legs do tarantulas have? He didn't say as a tarantula. <laughs> oh, plot twist, Jeff's the tarantula. 
Uh, yeah. Would you rather that Jeff becomes an obsessed scientist or a bodybuilder? Scientist! Smarts. Over everything. Would you rather forget everyone's birthday or have everyone forget yours? Oh. I actually really hate when people forget my birthday. It makes me feel really sad. If I can be completely honest, the first part of the day, I was very sad because I was like, what if, like, no one cares that it's my birthday? I don't know why, but I get too attached to my birthday. So this is gonna sound selfish, but I already forget everyone's birthday anyway. <laughs> so I think I'd rather forget everyone's birthday than have everyone forget mine. Um, uh, to answer the Sims or Animal Crossing question. Maybe Animal Crossing, because then I could live with animals. Whereas the Sims, someone would be controlling my life. Would you rather celebrate your birthday in the US or EU? I've never celebrated my birthday in Europe, so why not? That would be fun. If money wasn't an option, sure, sure. Patty always remembers your birthday. That's true. Would you rather I lost my ability to play the piano or my hair turned black? <laughs> I, I, black hair would be fine. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love your ginger hair, but... It's still luscious, long hair, even if it's a different color. Would you rather forget people's names or forget what they look like? Forget their names. Because I do that anyway. It's like the definition of working in a coffee shop. I recognize their face and I know what they get to drink, but I do not know their name to save my life. Would you rather be allowed to have a cat or cats will always hate you? Ugh. Oh wait, never be allowed to have a cat or cats will always hate you. I think never be allowed to have a cat. If you were a superhero, would you rather have super speed or the ability to fly? Maybe super speed. Because then I could just, like, do all the chores that I hate doing in, like, two seconds. Ugh. I'm gonna go fill up my glass. Chat. Cheers. With super speed, I could procrastinate so much faster. True. You can run to the EU to visit Jeff. Can I run through the ocean, though? I don't know if I can do that. If I would have known... I think I would have heated up some leftover pasta when I first started stream. Now I'm just hungry, but I shouldn't eat because I'm gonna go eat food. But I'm also drinking alcohol. <laughs> if it's fast enough, you can run on water, technically. Oh, okay. Would you rather have $20 million, but Jeff tickles everyone you meet and asks them if they are ticklish or rather live life as it is now? I'll take the 20 mil. That's just Jeff embarrassing himself. <laughs> Would you rather pee a little every time you sneeze or consistently or constantly sneeze while you are peeing? <laughs> Probably constantly sneeze while I pee because like peeing is a private thing anyway. <laughs> I 
Although peeing a little every time you sneeze is only an indefinite factor of getting older. So I'm gonna get the first no matter what. Jeff with Ticklis? Yep. Ooh, ooh tee -hee. Would you rather sneeze for 10 minutes straight each day or once every five minutes all day? Ten minutes straight each day. That's a long time. But then it's like just all in one go. <gasps> they did? I didn't know that, Felipe. Well, actually, Julia doesn't like wine, right? I think Julia doesn't like wine. So maybe she kind of let her parents drink the wine but also i think part of being 21 is like trying things and learning to like certain things she just doesn't have an acquired taste for wine yet guys did you know that tomorrow x together is doing a collaboration with the jonas brothers tomorrow x together is a k-pop group they sing this song that is playing right now it's kind of a bop they are collabing with the Jonas Brothers. My childhood boy band. No, he's not producing it, Jeff, but... Sorry. We can, like... The Jonas Brothers' last album, like, wasn't really a banger after banger after banger, so... I don't know if John Bellion and the Jonas Brothers just don't mesh well together, but I didn't really think that turned out as great as we were all hoping it was gonna turn out. He can only work with what he gets. Are you saying the Jonas Brothers aren't a musical icon? Listen to literally any other album. And it's banger after banger after banger. <laughs> okay, okay. To be fair, producing one song versus ten songs, you can put all your effort into one song. That was the fact, like, with Justin Bieber. But not every song on an album can be a banger. Okay, exactly. But the Jonas Brothers in 2005 were just great. They're getting old. They are, but they're still great. Would you rather sing your favorite song in front of 1,000 random people or in front of the original artist? What is my favorite song? I don't even know. I have tried Javi. I was actually sponsored by Javi a few years ago when they first came out. I did a sponsored stream for them. They actually asked me to do it again for their rebrand. And it was like during fall time, so I asked if I could get the pumpkin spice kind, and they were like, no, sorry. So I was like, okay. Then no. Remember Kit Espresso Coffee? I do. But in all honesty, it wasn't like, it wasn't super high quality coffee. It was okay, but you know, it wasn't like what I'm serving now at my coffee shop. It was good. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was just it wasn't like. It's it's like I it's like I took a steer step to where I am now. When do you want us to come get you? I'm ready whenever. I'm hungry. Would you rather go to space on a risky rocket or have a a long kiss with Katy Perry? Kiss the girl and I liked it. The taste of her cherry chapstick. <laughs> I 
Would she have cherry chapstick? Guess that answers that. <laughs> I don't want to go to space on a risky rocket. I'll kiss a girl. That's fine. I envy the way that K-pop artists dress. They just dress so cool. So effortless. <gasps> Would you rather get your dream job or travel the world fully funded? Travel the world fully funded for sure. Would you rather enter an experimental submarine or an experimental spaceship? <laughs> um, are both controlled by a Nintendo controller? Because <laughs> if so, I think that might be a red flag. Oh, it's a Logitech controller? Sorry. It literally it was like gray, like an old Nintendo controller. Apparently that's not unusual. Really? Okay, will you press the button? You can run at the speed of light. It, but it feels like there is a stone in your shoe whenever you do it, even when not wearing shoes. But I can still run at the speed of light regardless? Yeah. I don't care what it feels like because it's at the speed of light. It's going to be over in like 0 0.14 of a second. It doesn't matter. The U.S. Navy uses Xbox controllers for their periscopes because they're easier. Interesting. Would you rather need to sleep once every 10 years for one year or never need to sleep but never get to see your loved ones? Once every 10 years would be like a vampire. That'd be kind of cool. I would maybe choose that. Lego, 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 Lego. <laughs> Will you press the button? You become the best criminal ever to exist in the entire history of everything, but every time you do a successful robbery you go down to the bar and perform the entire music video of smooth criminal by michael jackson sure why not yeah i'll do it if i never get caught i just get famous off of reproducing michael jackson's music <laughs> what does once every 10 years for one year mean like every after 10 years of your life you have to sleep for one year so like you turn 10 years old, you have to sleep for a year and you wake up at the end of your 11th year when you turn 12. Hi, Tabo. Would you rather not have to sleep or not have to eat or drink? Not have to sleep for sure. You don't realize how much time you would get back if you didn't have to sleep. Seriously, honestly, yes, fuck sleeping. I mean, I love sleep, don't get me wrong. Like, it feels so good to sleep. But if you didn't need to sleep and you never felt sleepy, you would get so much of your life back. I would be able to do so much more. I'd be the fucking CEO of the world, but I'd be the president. That's so chill because when you turn 21, you can have an absolute rager and then recover from it for a full year. <laughs> I guess, yeah, true.
Once every 10 years, but you once sleep that pace for a year. Wait, what? No, it honestly checks out, because, like... You turn 10, you sleep until you're 12. Well, would that mean that you would sleep through your 21st birthday? You sleep until the last day of your 11th day of your, your your last day of being 11 so you turn 12 10 years after that is 22 so you'd technically be turning 23 you'd sleep past your 21st birthday but it's okay because if you live in Europe you can drink when you're 10 years old anyway so I guess it doesn't matter <laughs> You became, or you can become a superpowered god like. What? You can become a superpowered god like anytime you want? What does that even mean? But the source of your power is the life energy of nearby people. You'd live for 10 years. Then when you turn 10, you'd sleep for a year until you're 11. Live another 10 years as you turn 21, sleep another 10? Technically, if you're living for 10 years, you would have to live through your 10th year of life. So it would be as you're turning 11 that you would be going to sleep. Technically. Have you heard of the Capulus laser hat? No, I have not. Hi, cop. I don't understand this question. But it kind of sounds like Infamous. Have you guys ever played Infamous? Where you can like... You know, you turn one year after you're born. Would you, rather, would you rather marry Jeff now and be happy for a year or marry Jeff when the time is right and live forever? Only you would live forever. Wait, oh, uh, me, I would live physically forever. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to understand this. Would you rather marry Jeff now and be happy for just a single year? Or marry Jeff when the time is right and live forever, but only I would live forever. That's like depressing both ways. I would be losing him both ways. I would probably choose the second though. Because marriage is just marriage we can still live happily for however long before marriage. Why would I only keep her happy for a year? Because you would die, apparently. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Pickles. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I don't know, maybe you turn into a dick. Why don't you keep me happy for more than a year, hmm? What's the issue here? Okay, let's go to the next press the button question. You have the ability con to control anything with your mind, but every time you do, you get an uh, almost unbearable headache. I would do that, honestly, yeah. Yeah, I would. There's complications to superpowers, right? Maybe being so, or maybe being married to you is so stressful it straight up kills me after a year. But then like, why would you marry me in the first place? Do I just turn into like an absolute bitch? The second we tie the knot? 
what makes it so unbearable that I change so drastically from what I am now? I've seen it happen, it's possible. <laughs> Do you think I have an ulterior motive? Hi, Jit. How are you? Do woodpeckers get headaches? Maybe. <laughs> Would you rather make a loud scream every time you found someone attractive or never find anyone attractive ever again? <laughs> okay, but this is kind of... This is maybe a silly question for me. Would it be, like, objective attractiveness? I could maybe get behind objective attractiveness. But as a... Oh god, I'm tipsy. Is the, is the term demisexual? As a demisexual... I kind of don't find anyone attractive unless I have an emotional connection with them. Kind of. Like, I can understand objective, objectual, objective attractiveness. I can understand why someone would be attracted to someone because there are qualities in people that can be objectively attractive. But like, I don't personally find that super attractive unless I have a personal connection with them. You know? Does that make sense? She's only in it for the hair. So I guess my question to your question is never finding anyone attractive ever again does that mean like emotionally as well because then i would probably choose the first ah! oh my god i'm sorry you guys are just so attractive <laughs> Would you rather give up Jeff or Mew if Mew could live to be as old as Jeff? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Thanks, Jit. Oh, wait, I'll do a spin. I did a spin for everybody else. You're on loudspeaker, by the way. Hello, Pada Patrice's entire household. How are you? Okay. Um, hold on, I have to think about that. Would you rather give up Jeff or Mew if Mew could live to be as old as Jeff? Sorry, this is the dress. It's very long and flowy. Well, this is a sad question either way. I've kind of already accepted the fact that Mew is not going to live forever. And honestly, any pet that you ever have, you're always going to have a connection to them. You're always going to be like emotionally attached to them. So as sad as this is to say, I can always get another pet. But I can't always find another Jeff. Aww. Look at how sweet she's being. Look at her. I still love you. I still love you lots. Would you rather have Kit bother you constantly all day for a week or have her leave you 
leave for a week? <gasps> that is a good question for her. I do not know the answer because she pees on everything when I leave. She gets very, very angry. But she also doesn't love when I smother her either. What would you rather? Hmm? Can you answer that question? What would you rather? <laughs> what would you rather? Didn't even cover her ears. She's half asleep. She's half asleep. I wish I could easily, like, move this closer. Look at her. She's such a chunky little baby. She's such a chunky little baby. Look at her. She's a chunky little baby. She's tipsy and gonna drop me at any second? No. She's a chunky little baby. Look at these posies. Look at these. These posies right here. Okay, I'll sit you back down. Ugh. Fur everywhere. Everywhere there's fur. Fur everywhere. You're just so cute. I just love you so much. I just want to smother you. Oh, they just want to squeeze the little cheekies and go. I knew you. I wish that I could know the answer to that question for her. I wish I could read her mind. <laughs> hmm. Thanks, Big Dap. I appreciate it. Thank you. I have to pee again. Chat. Okay, will you press the button? You develop. Is this like a British site? Is that how you spell develop? No, it's not. It's spelled like this on the website, develop. Did you see my latest one or my last one? Um. Wait, your latest what? Wait, the Mary Jeff? Yeah. I answered it. Oh, wait. Would you rather run as fast as the Flash, but when you stop, you are crippled? Or walk normally, but never be able to stop walking? Crippled for life? Or crippled for... Either way, I'd have to keep moving, right? I'd maybe choose walk normal. Otherwise, if I was the Flash all the time, I could never, like, have a relationship with anyone because I'd be like... <laughs> you know? My glasses flew off my head. Okay, they're fine. Don't worry. <laughs> I actually, for a second, thought maybe they broke, but um, they're fine. I'm getting new glasses soon anyway. Not that it's an excuse to break these. I do still like these glasses. <laughs> Why 
Would you rather have super speed but normal stamina? Or be able to fly but only one foot off the ground? Hmm. My normal stamina is very sad. So if I had super speed, I'd be able to like run to the elevator in my apartment and then I'd have to like take a 10 minute break. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that does remind me of the, the druid like chicken flap. <laughs> I don't know. That's a hard one. I honestly don't know. Maybe fly, but one foot off the ground because it'd just be fun to hover, you know? Yeah, did you guys see my snap in Discord for the new glasses that I got? Also, side note, I'm not able to post snaps on, in Discord anymore, sadly. It's not allowing me to share my snaps on Discord. So that's sad. Um... Also, all of the past snaps are like poop emojis on Discord for me. They're not loading. Okay. That's good. Do I have paint? No. I, I will say I like the smell of like freshly painted, like freshly spray paint. Like that smells nice, but I wouldn't intentionally like shove it up my nose that's unhealthy ah! would you rather lose snapchat or lose all of your socials like all of my socials including twitch i guess i'd have to invest in some premium snapchat content right I don't know. I use Snapchat too much to get rid of it. Like, it's it's no question. I would have to choose Snapchat. <laughs> Premium Snapchat content can be free kitty pics. Kitty? Kitty. Pow! <gasps> you guys are talking about Indian food? Stop, it's gonna make me want Indian food after I already chose... Sushi. What is this? Chase, this looks delicious. The dish, like the dish itself looks so... Cool. <gasps> What's wrong with more garam masala? Garam masala is good. It's good. Beef and taters. I really, 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 really like have wet dreams about the butter chicken that was at Rissa's wedding. I need to make more butter chicken. Like, I need to figure out the recipe and make it because it's so good. The sauce, the sauce. So good! Yes. Wasabi? Ew, wasabi's gross. Do it, you won't. She sent me a recipe for butter chicken. But it's, it's not like, it's not the same butter chicken that it was at the wedding. It like has some butternut squash thing in it. <gasps> Would you rather have hair that is the perfect style but ugly color or hair that is the perfect color but ugly style? Perfect style, ugly color for sure. Honestly, I don't think any color of hair is ugly as long as it's healthy and long and luscious and wavy and beautiful. I do say that I prefer like blonde over brunette. That's just because like my hair as it is now, I prefer it blonde 
and like slightly unhealthy than brunette and slightly unhealthy, you know? Riss is a very good cook. She really is. Butter? I hardly know her. I think I saved the recipe that she gave me. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna want butter chicken. Stop. <gasps> Recipes. Creamy butternut squash butter chicken. This. It looks mouth-watering. Just, just look at it. Just look at it. Look at the creamy sauce on the chimkin. What? Bish, pick up the cilantro on the table and put it on your plate. What is it doing? But we got some naan, we got some rice, we got some chicken. Mm. water literally all over my floor like it hit the floor and it splattered it's just water but like it's all over the floor so soak it up <laughs> she would hate that she would resent me for the rest of her life if I used her as a mop good. I mopped before Jeff came to visit, but I uh, haven't since then, so, you know. I have to go under the desk. desk leg. Oh my god, I wish the fan wasn't on right now. A very furry rubber band. New. Why? <laughs> Why did you do this? <gasps> it was like under my desk leg. Like, So I have sit-stand desk legs, right? And they have like a very long bar on the ground to help distribute the weight. And they have like a tiny little gap underneath. That rubber band must have fit perfectly under. <laughs> because I don't know how else it would have fit. I really don't know. Okay, it's 
all clean. Gifting a sub to Fast Nine. Happy Fast Nine Day! Hey, hey! Thank you. <laughs> Would you rather never need water but always need to eat, or never need protein but always need to drink water? I guess it depends on what always means. Technically, we as humans right now always need to be drinking water. Um, I think I'd rather give up protein. I don't know. Always doesn't all the time, so I literally always need to drink water? I mean, financially, water would be way more affordable to consume all the time than food would. Would you rather be able to read minds, but only while you are touching someone? Touching them where? Or be able to teleport, but only a couple feet at a time. Read minds when touching someone. That would be fun, actually, to be like, I feel you. You are heard. Also, I know your entire life story now. That would be kind of fun. She loves rubber bands. She is going to love that I found that. My dog's fur always gets under mine. Mew's fur always gets, so you know how it has like the different kind of like accordion almost tiers that like collapse down when it goes all the way down and then it like extends up when it goes all the way up. Mew's fur always gets under those. Bum, 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 bum. I have to pee again, chat. Anyway, I was going to read the ingredients of what it takes to make this butternut squash chicken. It looks so good. Okay, so we need chicken, Greek yogurt, garam masala, paprika, cumin, turmeric, cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, Evo, salted butter, onion, butternut squash, garlic, grated ginger, chili flakes, I hate chili flakes, full fat coconut milk, fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. A bath? Ooh, have fun. Light a candle. Uh, I hope you have a bath bomb as well because bath bombs are life-changing. Love me a good bath bomb. This recipe sounds so good. I want to make this. Would you rather when someone likes you, wait. Oh, would you rather know when someone likes you but never be able to be in a relationship or never know when someone likes you but be single for life since you don't know if they like you or not? Either way, I'm single for life. I think I'd rather know if someone likes me. I kind of feel like I already know when someone likes me. But you know, I don't know. I am not out of the, if I am not out of the bath before you log off, thank you for an absolutely lovely stream today and happy birthday. Thank you, Starcourt. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the birthday wishes.
Excuse me. Don't clean my rug. <laughs> this is a new stream now. knelt down on the ground <laughs> and so she turned around and started walking towards me yeah she really likes rubber bands I don't know what it is but something about the smell that's like you know look at her she's being a floof a flop a floppy floof Okay, chat. Um, we've been literally chatting for six and a half hours. Well, a little over six hours. How is that possible? Would you rather really is a conversation starter for sure. Would you rather live in the perfect home but no one can visit or live in the worst possible home you can think of and always get visitors? You don't choose if you get visitors or not. I would rather live in the perfect home for sure. I think I care way too much about my home than the average person. Jeff can't visit. It's okay, I can just go visit him. Or he can stay in a hotel and I can go to his hotel. you guys that Jeff is coming to visit again before I go to visit Europe so I plan I hope fingers crossed that I earn enough months to be able to go and visit for Christmas but he is coming again at the end of August wholesome <clears throat> He likes it here in my new apartment so much that he wants to come over again as soon as possible. <laughs> Am I not going to TwitchCon? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I would love to go to TwitchCon Paris, but I just don't think it's feasible. Any special occasion? No, actually when he comes to visit this time, I'm gonna continue working because it's just not financially okay for me to like take two weeks off because I, I don't earn money when I don't work like I'm not salaried I'm paid hourly so when I request time off of work I am just simply not getting paid for those hours that I'm not working thank you G 
energy bucks. Appreciate the birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, um, I would love to be able to afford a visit by Christmas. We will see though. I honestly don't know what it's looking like. I need to recover from still my ankle sprain and like the time that I took off from, I basically like from the time that I took off from my ankle sprain to when I worked a little bit, it was like enough to pay rent for that one month. And then like I took time off again while he visited. And now I'm just like, I've gone through my entire life savings. I am now a paycheck to paycheck girl. So I need to definitely work when I can. This is why I'm like stressing on getting a real job so badly now. Because I don't have savings to go off of anymore at all. That's why I'm prioritizing trying to get a career instead of an hourly wage job. Mew, seriously, please don't put that in your water bowl. Perfect timing to do options. What do you mean? But yeah, I guess maybe let's, let's dive deeper into the, um, <clears throat> into the, the occasional art stream. So if I were to start streaming my 3D digital art, should I do it on Kick? Should I do it on Twitch? Are you 25? I'm very, very flattered that you asked if I'm 25, but no, I am way older. <clears throat> She's only 21. I wish. I wish. Do it on whichever website gets you a bigger payout. So kick. <laughs> Hi, Tingy. I'm kind of thinking because kick is such a niche community already. If you care enough to follow me to kick, you're probably like one of the close homies, you know? So I feel like maybe I should just do my uh, art streams, my 3D artwork on kick from now on. <clears throat> I think you guys would help hold me accountable. Um, I don't know. Shouldn't they up your salary? Well, the thing is I'm not salaried. I'm paid hourly. I know they said you reach the roof the possible salary that you can get, but you deserve more. I do deserve more, but they won't give it to me. It's kind of sad if I think about it too much. I'm kind of just like changing my perspective <clears throat> with my current job to kind of just be A financial stability to pay my rent. <clears throat> um, I'm just looking at it as that. And if I, if I do like, if I can work to get a game development job and I do land a game development job, then that's gonna be that. I will move on immediately. Won't have any regrets. What if you contacted a small startup coffee company that could sponsor you and would love your skills on a coffee team? See, the thing with a small startup is they wouldn't be able to pay me adequately. What I work for now is basically the equivalent of a small startup coffee company. That's why they're not able to pay me a living salary, a living wage. I think my sub is never ending on kick for now. You get more of it there, so it kind of supports more in a way. It does. Thank you. I appreciate that. In no way should you feel obligated to support me on kick just because I do occasionally stream on kick. That's not the uh, 
that's not the goal. I don't want you to feel pressured or obligated to support me on both platforms. Just because I do dabble in both platforms, I want you to support me on whatever platform in whatever way you find most appropriate for you. You don't owe me anything. <clears throat> One stream 4K? Huh? Panic! Thank you so much for giving me your prime. I appreciate it. Thank you for the four month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, Panic. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Jeez. She is really into that rubber band. <clears throat> she is playing. She is enjoying her life right now. Oh, to be a cat. What it would be like. this restaurant that I want to go to open. I'm going to be real sad if my family is like, okay, we're ready to go. And then it closes at like 6 p.m. Okay, it does say until 11 p.m. Let's go back to the DIY questions. DIY questions for girlfriend? Would you rather have a weekend getaway with your boyfriend or spend a week at home with him? Weekend getaway, duh. Why would you choose to stay at home when you can literally always stay at home? Would you rather lose an arm and have the perfect life or, or lose the ability to walk and be rich? I feel like that's the case for a lot of rich people. They just have a working like penis and it's fine. Uh... Could I live without an arm? I mean, I could. But like, would my life be as happy with just one arm? Doesn't the perfect life include being rich? I would probably choose lose an arm and have the perfect life. Perfect is objective. Would you rather be a lonely billionaire without a husband or kids or be poor but happy with a husband and kids? Lonely billionaire, 100%. Sorry, I don't want kids. Hi, crummy. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna change the boyfriend comment into a significant other because it's more appropriate for like the whole of chat. I would rather be a lonely billionaire because I don't want kids.
and I think I would be fine on my own. I don't need a significant other. It's a want, but it's not a need. No kids. Don't want kids. Kids are a nuisance. All right, I will be taking. I will be taking Jeff then. Would you rather have a significant other who is very committed to their career or one who is more focused on their personal life and relationships? Career, I think. Because that's what I would be. I would want someone who shares the same values that I do. Would you rather take a luxury cruise with a significant other or go camping in the wilderness with your significant other? Call me bougie, but I want a luxury cruise. Okay, a lot of these questions are really lame. I'm sorry. Would you like to have a significant other who likes to try new things or one who's more predictable and sticks to a routine? Would you like to have a very romantic evening with your significant other? Or would you rather have a significant other who's more practical and down to earth? Would you rather have a significant other who's very emotional and sensitive or more stoic and logical? Deep would you rather questions? McDonald's or Taco Bell? Mm, this is difficult because I love McDonald's fries. Recently, I've discovered that McDonald's fries are fried in beef oil. And that is a little like discrediting to the yumminess of McDonald's fries. Um, but I also freaking love a chicken quesadilla from Taco Bell or like a steak quesadilla. Like Taco Bell's quesadillas are fire. Stop. If we talk about this, I'm gonna change my restaurant that I wanna go to tonight to freaking Taco Bell. Dude, I don't know. If you had to choose, would you stop cutting your fingernails or your toenails? <laughs> if I'm 110% honest, I neglect my toes. I kind of just let them like... <laughs> I kind of just let them like... Grow. True, not me though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we won't we won't discuss what pedicure adventures we took together. Um, my feet aren't like disgusting by any means, but uh Alpha Dumbo Thank you. I think you were the five hundred biddies. I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I remember when we got pedicures and the lady was like, OMG, you have such better feet than she does. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we'll go with that story. It's fine. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't, okay. 
I wouldn't never not cut my toenails. Wait. I wouldn't never cut my toenails. But I do, because it's just like me looking at them, I do just kind of like neglect them until they start bothering me, like ripping holes in my socks. And then I'm like, okay, I guess I need to trim my toenails. So then I trim them. Uh, but I feel like I trim my toenails more than I do my fingernails. And like, if you see my fingernails, they're fairly healthy and clean so they just like naturally wear down so I think I would have to choose never cut my fingernails <laughs> Jeff don't even shut up <laughs> your fingernails are non-existent because you chew them into oblivion Olive, thank you, thank you, thank you for the birthday wishes. <clears throat> I don't have gremlin feet, no. I like to get pedicures and I like to paint my toenails, but I don't keep them as pristine as maybe other women do. Like right now, I still have the same pedicure as I did when I went to Rissa's wedding, which was like end of May. So it's been a month and I haven't touched my toes. But like, they still look okay. Just a little grown out, you know, like when you get acrylics and it's like you got the little, little space between your, it's like that. But the paint job, because I got gel, is still perfect. It's just grown out. I would show you, but you know, like, Twitch to us. It's, it's, it's too sexual to throw your feet on stream, you know. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? <clears throat> this question is interesting. Would you rather be able to talk to animals or understand the language of plants? That is a very interesting question for me. Why would anyone choose plants over animals? Because plants are hard to take care of. And if you love plants and have them as a hobby, you would like to understand why you keep killing them. I think I'd still choose talk to animals though, because you could always learn more about herbology. But you can't really learn, like there's so much undiscovered information about animals. And if someone, just one person on earth could talk to animals, the, like the world would be changed forever. Stop it. I don't care if you're uneven. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Would you rather be born with extraordinary talent or be able to learn any skill overnight? Just like one singular extraordinary talent and you have to like exhort that talent your entire life? Extort? Ex or like be able to adapt? I think I would rather choose to learn any skill overnight. I'd kind of like to be a jack of all trades. <gasps> Would you rather be the strongest person in the world or the smartest person in the world? <clears throat> I would choose smartest, hands down. <clears throat> My voice is cracking. Would you rather lose all your money and possessions or all of your friends? Oh, 
call me materialistic, but you can always make new friends. You can't always just buy a $4,000 loft bed. <laughs> I don't have friends. That too. I don't really have many. I mean, I include like you guys in my group of friends. I guess. I think Twitch friends would count too, yeah. But like $4,000 loft bed, dude, that's a lot of money. <gasps> would you rather be able to speak all languages fluently or have perfect pitch? Yes. Every time I mention that, it's so shocking to people, but I've mentioned it so many times on stream. Would you rather know every language to exist or be the best in every sport to ever exist? Languages. I think for this question that I asked, would you rather be able to speak all languages fluently or have perfect pitch? I would choose perfect pitch. I've actually low-key always wanted to be very good at singing. <clears throat> I'll get all the money back I just gave up for my friends. <laughs> Would you rather have a perfect understanding of the universe or have a perfect understanding of yourself? I feel like the journey of your life is understanding yourself. So I think I would rather have a perfect understanding of the universe. Would you rather have a crystal ball that shows you the future or one that shows you the past? Okay, it's nearly six o'clock now. Hello? I would want to see the future for sure. I don't care about the past. I actually saw a tweet that was really, really interesting. Like, the past is literally gone. It's all about what happens next. I don't remember how it was worded exactly. But it was really eye-opening and I would choose the future for sure. Gambling? like to see Jesus you can see Jesus right now all you have to do is close your eyes and open your heart <laughs> hashtag faith I already did that <laughs> Okay, I really have to pee. I was hoping that I could hold out until my parents got here to take me to dinner. But I really need to empty my bladder beforehand. So I'm going to go ahead and run some ads. Um, this means that you will not miss anything. I will not be at the computer while ads are running. I will be on the toilet. So you will not miss anything. I will be back. Please enjoy a little break of yourself. Take a screen break, get some water, get some snackies. Take a little stretch break. I'll be back.
Good boy, Gumbear. Leaving in five minutes. I'm hungry now. <laughs> so... I'm having a few chips and pico. Put the snackies back, but pico! Just a few bites, just... <laughs> pico! Pico. <laughs> This is full of liquid. <laughs> this is full of liquid. Why is my pico liquid? It got all over my camera lens cap. It's gonna smell like freaking onions, man. Onions. Pico is made of fresh onions, tomatoes, cilantro, and lime, and salt and pepper. Pico! They're full of water. Hi, Lexi! <gasps> so, so, mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, this smells like onion. Onion! <gasps> Mike and Ike's? Yo, I'm still wondering like, mm, yo, Mike and Ike, so like, <laughs> you know, these spots are sore and all, so like, what do you send into my address? I need a little bit of a care box, you know what I'm saying? Care package. Okay, I just want to say the DoorDash lady that delivered these chips or picked out these chips. Poor decision, ma'am. Poor decision. What the hell is the bottom of this bag? How am I going to eat this? It was the grapes lady, yes. Same lady. We know that she has poor decision making when picking out food delivery. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. Oh my god. Food is just so good. What would life be without food? Legitimately. This pico isn't even that good. It definitely needs more lime. It needs more salt and pepper. But... This is hitting the spot right now because I haven't eaten since like 9 a.m. I did eat that one donut when I started stream, right? But other than that, all I've eaten today are Krispy Kreme donuts. <sighs> so good. It's 2 a.m. It's 6.07 p.m. Who is on mom's account right now? Cameron, is this you?
pretty sure mom wouldn't say porker. But also, I don't really know if that's in Cameron's vocabulary. So is this Don? Donald? since when have you started using the word porker? <sighs> Bro, what the frick? Am I seriously this messy? There's onion, cilantro, and tomato on my floor. When did I drop pico on my floor? What the hell is this? Dawn of the day. Hello, hello. Also, hi, Simphon. Blue, my dress. Dude, I swear to God, I didn't spell anything. salty enough and this pico is mid of gifted subbies my duty thank you so much what the heck <laughs> sorry i'm trying not to step in pico de gallo as i get closer to my desk <laughs> but thank you so much what you look like a cult leader in a midsummer remake <laughs> stop we talked about midsummer earlier i can't believe you're bringing this up again Oh my goodness. I never hear that alert. So thank you so much for triggering that alert. <laughs> thank you for the 25 gifted subs and a sub yourself. That's incredible. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dawn of the Day! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hope my neighbors don't vigorously think. Wait. Think that I'm vigorously clapping cheeks. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, it's the theme and or vibe of my dress. I look like I'm from Midsummer with this dress. A cult leader? What? <laughs> I mean, I guess I can picture it. I guess. I've seen Midsummer. I know how fucked up it is. I get it. A really friendly, supportive one. Yeah, they were all super friendly and supportive and not humpy at all in that movie. Haven't been on Twitch much, but you will always be my first sub and will always support even though you just broke my ears. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. You're so wholesome. I hope life is treating you well. Thank you for tuning in on my birthday of all days. Thank you for your kind gift. It truly is the gift that keeps on giving because everyone else that was mentioned above gets that gift as well. So thank you, thank you. I kind of see the Midsummer thing, but not a cult leader. The Midsummer movie is not how it really is though. <laughs> I don't know anything I'm anything else about Midsummer except for the movie. <laughs> oh yeah! Thank you so much for the six gifted zombies! <laughs> and for triggering the Peppa Pig alert! Thank you! Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, 200. Wait, I don't get to see that. I don't get to see that in chat. How many subs they've gifted in total. Unless it says up here. Um, no. I don't get to see it at all. It only says six for me total. Actually, it does say Rosantos is giving six tier one subs to Kispresso's community. It's their first gift sub in the channel. <laughs> That's what I see. Oh, my goal is 200. Wait! <gasps> You mean to say we've hit the goal of 200 subbies? Oh my goodness. We haven't been to that goal in so long. It's honestly been like two years since we've been at 200 subs. Thank you so much. What the heck? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. Milestone path to partner. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, I'm dumb. I didn't even see the title. Happy birthday. I still remember your birthday when you were, when you spilled the champagne all over the floor. Yeah, that was at my grandma's house. Let's hope that she doesn't know that I spilled champagne all over her floor. We did have a decent amount of champagne today. We had like three fourths of a bottle. I'm waiting on food because I haven't eaten all day. So I can't finish the whole bottle by myself or else I will just not be in a good state. I just, I just won't be in a good state. <clears throat> but I did indeed spill water all over my floor and I had to mop my floor live on stream. That was, that was something. That was something indeed. Okay, this is my last chip. You haven't had your crispy tofu yet? No. Crispy tofu is coming in like an hour, maybe. Because I'm going to it for dinner and my family is taking me to dinner. 
and it's super late. They always eat super late. What state is that? Like this? Like what state am I in? It's your birthday. They should come at the time you say. I know, right? Okay, also, another dig. Another dig at the lady, the DoorDash lady that delivered my groceries. I asked for Albertsons in-store made tortilla chips. Albertsons in-store made tortilla chips. And she gave me restaurant-style tortilla chips. That's not Albertsons made tortilla chips. I know for sure Albertsons made tortilla chips are way saltier than these. If, if it's so specific, then why did they allow you to pick each individual item from the app? It's gotta be hell to be a DoorDash delivery person. Just read, forehead. Just read. Go on my floor. You guys have never tried pico de oh my god i can't speak english <laughs> you guys have never tried pico de gallo with a krispy kreme donut before it's so good <laughs> ghost burr sheep friend thank you my little nook you mean this over here It's a little TV space, and then my bed is on top. It is indeed cozy wozy. Yes, yes. No unlurk? Yeah, no unlurk, sorry. What if the bed falls? Well, it's a $4,000 loft bed, and if it fell on top of me, I would definitely sue because I paid $4,000 for it. I have fallen down. That is how I sprained my ankle. So that is indeed possible. <laughs> Are you eating dinner at 1 a.m.? Well, it's 6.22 p.m. for me right now. Why does the store not put it together? Like when I went, wait, what? Oh, yeah, that depends on the store. Like when I had the Amazon Whole Foods delivery, that's just like because it's through Amazon. Amazon is just convenient and superior and does everything. So like Whole Foods is owned by Amazon. Thus, Whole Foods has shoppers that go through and pick out your food for you ready for pickup. But like I did Albertsons delivery through DoorDash. I don't know if Albertsons has their own delivery through their website but I just went through DoorDash because it's easy and I have a DoorDash account. I would have had to made an Albertsons account or whatever. What doesn't Amazon own? I don't know, man. What do you guys think is gonna happen with the whole Prime sub situation? Do you guys believe, kick, <laughs> do you guys believe that Amazon is going to 
take away prime subs. I do agree that if they are struggling to if they're if they're struggling to come out positive like how do I explain this? Oh my gosh. Okay, I read a tweet that was explaining like the 70-30 split and how to get it and how like prime subs aren't included, right? They're not included because Amazon is giving people that money to spend on streamers. Like it's only ever costing them money. And if you don't know, Twitch as a corporation is a giant negative in the, the like business earnings department for Amazon. So Twitch is a constant profit loss. So if they were to take away prime subs, they would earn all of that money back, thus putting them in the positive. And people think, people are suspecting that because prime subs aren't included in the like 350 minimum subs for the 70-30 split for a streamer, that they're going to eventually take away prime subs. They're, they're reducing the value of a prime sub. They're not including it as a real sub. Thus, they're going to eventually get rid of it. That's the whole speculation going around right now. If they do, that gets so much backlash. Yeah. Any decision they make gets so much backlash right now. If they take it away, I will unsub from Prime. I do think it is a good benefit of Prime for sure. I think they're trying to bring down the whole site eventually. That is also another speculation. Yeah, they're just destroying, like imploding Twitch, if you will, from the inside. Because it's just a money sink. They also increased the price of Turbo by $3, which people also think is why they will remove Prime Sub. I actually didn't know that. I don't pay for Turbo. And I don't know anyone that does pay for Turbo. But that is very interesting. They increased it by $3. That's kind of steep. Hmm. Yeah. I am very, very interested to see how Twitch is going to turn out in the long run. It's kind of crazy to think that, like, my whole life was Twitch at one point. I didn't even know about it until I saw the, the video. Hmm. I do kind of think, yeah, all the drops. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But I do kind of think that they're being a little more sneaky with their tactics. <sighs> My mom said they're leaving in five minutes, 27 minutes ago. Does that mean they're almost here? How far away are they? They live like 30 minutes away. Maybe 20 minutes away. Hi, Bagina! They're more focused on making money rather than what streamers need and want. Yes. They want to be in the positives because they're from a sole business standpoint. I do understand their intentions. They do want their business to be profitable as anyone would owning a business. So yes, they are less inclined to give streamers what they want because it doesn't matter. Twitch is a big company and they just want to be in the positives. A publicly traded company. They have to make months for the shareholders. I don't know if I know about enough about business to know what that means. Like st stonks? Stonks. Grant has turbo. Grant is the only person I know that pays for turbo. Does anyone else in chat pay for turbo? Also, hi, Shanizzi. Gosh, 
I love this crystal so much. I keep looking at it. It's just so freaking beautiful. I can't get over it. It looks so good next to my plant. How did you know that it matches my plant perfectly? <laughs> I just know things. to uh, clean up a little like put my wine glass in the dishwasher I can't believe we're at 200 subscribers oh 200 sub points that's what it is that's what it is okay 200 sub points is a little bit different than 200 subscribers but it is a good step in the right direction we're at 176 subscribers so not quite 200 but that just means a few people are tier 3 subbed boosting us to the 200 sub point area. Turbo gives you a badge and takes away ads. The good thing with Turbo is that the streamer still gets the ad revenue even though you don't get the ads watching them. Yeah, I have heard that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm going to take on me now. Oh, wait. Huh? I, I, really, I really like this song. It sounds good. Mining away. Tennis! What the heck? Tennis! Thank you! Thank you so much for the 20 four gifted subbies tennis thank you oh my goodness you guys you're so sweet thanks happy morph thank you hi tony hello hello now we're at 200 now we're at 200 oh At the beginning of the month, I was low-key a little sad because it was the lowest sub count that I had ever seen my channel at. Like, since I've grown, you know? Like, it was below 100. I got a little sad. Like, wow, this is how you know. This is, this is how you know Twitch just isn't meant to be anymore. But thank you. Thank you for pulling it back up to 200 total subscribers. I appreciate it. It's very kind of you guys. Thank you. I love your emotes too much to ever give them up. Thanks, Star. I think they're really cute too, but people can get bored, you know? <clears throat> people like change. I really want... Like, I don't have the, the finances for it anytime soon, but I really want some more emotes in the collection. I would love a pride heart emote or like a pride flag emote. That would be super cute. Um, what was the other one that I wanted? There was another one that I felt like I needed. Can't ever remember until I'm like ready to go use it. And then I'm like, why don't I have an emote for this? Um... Oh, a blink. I want a blink emote. I've been using that emoji so frequently lately, like the indifferent, indifferent emoji. I want. A blink. Like a 
a good old face like that. I want an, an emote like that. <laughs> yeah, I need a good one. We need a good, like, kit death is kind of there if we were to take out the bloody tissues. Maybe I could, like, go in on, like, a budget edit. Like, go in and edit out the tissues and then just, like, finish off the ears and that would be, like, kit blank. <laughs> But yeah, I want a good, I want a good blank emote. I also really want something that encaptures this face, but I don't know what that would be. It's not like a, oh my God, super surprised face. It's just kind of like a, oh, face, you know? <laughs> I want an emote that encaptures that, but I don't know what that would be. Okay, I'm putting this in the dishwasher. I'm putting this by the sink. Actually, I'm gonna drink more water. And I'm throwing away my napkin. Run so low, 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 low. So low, 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 low. And I'm drinking it right here, and I am not setting it on my desk to spill all over the floor again. Happy get out your mama day. That is true. That is what today is. Pretty true. They're here. I go get food. Okay. Let me on. Okay. Chat. I appreciate you all for spending your day with me on my birthday. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for playing Would You Rather for seven hours straight. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for all the gifted subbies and the resubs. And the bits and the donos, I truly, 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 from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it more than you know. It helps me out so, so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Yes, join the Discord if you would like. I also have some socials. I'm most active on Snapchat. If you want to follow me there, you get to see a little sneak peek in my personal life. I'm probably going to post some dinner pics on Snap, if I'm honest. So, uh, follow me on Snap, first and foremost. But I'm also fairly active on Twitter and Instagram. And I have some time capsule YouTube videos if you care to check those out. Um, thank you, thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you, thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you, I keep forgetting it's my birthday, it's so weird. Um, but yeah, thanks. I'll see you guys later. Appreciate you all. Goodbye.